What's going on, guys? RBP is brought to you by Manscaped. And this month, they are teaming up with the Testicular Cancer Society. They're doing T-shirts, We Save Balls. And they're also doing a special Lawnmower 4.0 with the purple stripe to raise awareness. Um, if you guys know anybody who has testicular cancer or you want to help raise awareness, go to manscaped.com. Use code RBP to get 20% off and free shipping. I'll let you guys check out the site if you haven't been there. They have everything you need for men's hygiene they also have some boxers and stuff like that but uh the lawnmower 4.0 is awesome they have different scents like colognes and deodorants things like that nail kits uh the nose trimmer anything you could need to make sure you're fresh listen springtime's coming around it's going to get warmer you want to keep yourself fresh you want to keep yourself clean get to manscape.com use code rbp and get 20 percent off free shipping keep yourself straight for the warmer weather And likes all my shit. <laughs> she follows you? Yeah. But she doesn't follow me. I don't think she follows she me. She follows me. She likes my, my stuff. There's I mean, a picture of them together name? on her Instagram. Name? Can you guys send me her profile? I have no idea who this person is. Like, we met her the one time. Oh, you've met her? <laughs> shouldn't say that. Guy's I, I, didn't, I didn't meet her. You met her. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Just leave it. Yeah. Just go with it. <laughs> we met her the one time. And, uh, her? or is that like no it didn't meet her in person like he she he introduced her oh in the yeah. background yeah yeah oh, oh okay he did yeah off remember the, off the recording off the recording yeah yeah so i know she exists but i don't know like her instagram or anything but i don't know whatever yeah he doesn't want us to talk about her so we won't talk about her <laughs> as we're talking we'll talk about as her. we're talking about her. <laughs> send to <her> the profile <laughs> So listen, last week we all ate shit. Does that oh, mean we fucking fucked up good on that one? Does I, that mean that the bet is off, or are we going to try? Yeah, we to all lost. I'm not doing it. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, either way, I think I'm the farthest away, not you guys. So why? Why? I just I think if you add, I tallied up. I think I'm the farthest off because me and Nick had all the same except for one, and I think his one was closer than my one. I think he had blessing in the top five, and I didn't even have blessing in the top five. I, I had me and Nick had blessing fourth. Okay, and are you the only ones that even had him in the top five? No, guy had him in fi- guy had him fifth. Guy had him fifth. So, so you're the you're the one you're the only one. <laughs> like you can't if I didn't even have him in the top five, I can't really qualify for that. I'll tell you what, I'm happy for him. He he showed up. Know. He he showed up. He looked good for sure. And I really think he can win New York. I uh, yeah. yeah. If Ju- if Justin doesn't get it together in the next week. I think no. Honestly, look, I love Justin. I'm not gonna say anything bad. I think Justin needs a break. I, I will agree. Yeah. With you. Well, we yeah. said that. Okay. This is why I shouldn't listen to fans. This was a problem. I said that on the two podcasts ago. I was like, we looked him. We looked at his photos, and we, remember, I think it was me, you, and Paul, Nick. And we looked at his photos, and I thought, yeah, oh, I think his body is fighting back. Now. I said he doesn't look lean enough for two weeks out. It might have been you. Might have been on that one, Ian. I don't remember, but I said he doesn't look lean enough for two or three weeks out. And I think we talked about it again after somebody yeah. gave me shit. Some a fan gave me shit and said, "You don't give Justin enough respect." So that stuck in my head. So then I put him in first, and Ian said, "You know, Ian." I think Ian said on that second podcast, he's like, "You know, Justin's notorious for getting in shape quickly," which I agree with. Which is true. Which is still very true. So I thought, okay, well, if he can pull it together, then he can probably win. Yeah. But my gut instinct was he doesn't look close enough at two or three weeks out. Well, you you gotta think. You gotta think. Last year he did the indie. He did New York, he yeah, did, the Arnold, did yeah. the Olympia, and then he did the Arnold, and then he did Boston, and then he just yeah. did the, the Indy. Now he's getting ready to do New York. Like, there's a year, no break. A year straight of just press. Right. Can you guys, you guys probably know him better than I do. Can you and guys he's not explain, the youngest guy in the world, you know? Can you guys explain to me why he would do that? Because he's probably, you know, he's gaining money, like he's doing well. And I, think, also, I think that's why. I, or maybe he just loves competing. I don't I mean, know. In this, but, in this case, he is not qualified for the Olympia yet. No, I know. No. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, like, he took third at the Arnold, so he probably made a good check out of that. So, and he took second in Boston, so he probably got Wait, another little. Take third at the Arnold. Yeah, because no, 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 Sam, no. Samson was fourth. No, Steve oh, was Kukla. third, man. Kukla was third. Oh, uh, that's right. Justin, Justin was fifth. fifth. 
That's right. That's right. right. That's right. I'm sorry. But he but he came fourth at last year's Arnold because I was second. Steve was third. He was third. He was fourth. Yeah. And then he so was he top top ten at the yeah, and he was top ten at the Olympia. Yeah, he was eighth. Yeah, he was eighth. Is that what he was? He was yeah. one behind me. Yeah. Yeah. So all all I'm trying to say is like he's probably got some good prize money built up. So why wouldn't he take a break and do something later in the year? I, I think, I think I, you know what I think he should shut it down right now. And if he wants to qualify, maybe do Tampa. I don't know. I mean, what? Let's but, pull up this. Can you? We'll pull up the points. He must be pretty far in the points. I don't even know where to look for the points. Google twenty twenty two, Mister Olympia qualification. He's 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 got to have a lot. He's like right. He's done every yeah, show. Yeah, Kuklo had twenty one, I think. But I mean, if you add it up now, he must. I think he had seventeen or eighteen. So I mean, he must be getting close to that. So this is what I got, Ian. Yeah, click that first one. Okay, go down. Here? Yeah, Mr. Olympia. Hey, look, it's me. There, okay, <laughs> there. Okay, they're tied in point for first. So Kuklo Rodriguez, but they're far ahead, man. Like, yeah, but they're like, they're all, they're going to qualify. Like, they're right Yeah, there. yeah. Like, it's top five qualified well, Steve, points, I think, right? I think, yeah, top three. I think Steve oh, is, okay. Steve is, banking on that qualifying him i assume right i think that's what the plan was how many people get qualified two or three three you just said three yeah three is three okay well if you look at this list how many other people are going to keep competing i mean charles is going to do new york Max no charles probably... is not doing new york no he's uh, not he's not he's doing no. cali cali okay so then you have max charles will probably do it Siobhan. sergio's sergio's going to do something Siobhan's Sir, just like yeah Mac, max is doing new york max is doing new york joe seaman's going to do toronto and then who knows what else? Ian's going to oh, win. Uh, Ian's going to win. Sorry, Akeem. What the hell is Akeem doing? He's been quiet. Yeah. Is Roly going to compete again, or what's he doing? Do you guys know? I'm not sure. I have not heard anything from Roly. I mean, the real guys that are, like, still very active, we have. Okay, but wait a minute, Ian. Sorry, let me ask you a question. How many points do you get for a win at a smaller show? Depends. If, if you go down, scroll down. Uh, no, go up. Maybe go to the back. Like, it'll, it'll show uh, – It'll show a thing of like which shows are worth what. No, go down on this page. Keep going, keep going. Uh, it doesn't have it. Doesn't okay, have like it. it shows are so depending on the tier of the show, they're worth more more or less points, right? Yeah, I know that. That's why I said a so small I think, show. I think like a tier three show or tier two, they're like eight points or something for second, maybe less. Because I mean, look, I have the ten points I have there is only from second place at the Arnold. Yeah, but that's the Arnold. Yes, so that's 10 points was the a most amount of points you can get at the Arnold. Because obviously, first place, you're not getting points. So that's the most you can get at a Tier 2 show. Yeah, I thought, but the, is Arnold considered Tier 2 or Tier 1? It's Tier 2. There's only Olympia's Tier 1. Olympia is only Tier 1, I think. Yeah, so then Tier 2. So then Tier 3 is everything else? No, there's Tier 4s too. Oh, because I was going to say New York has got to be its own. New York has got to probably got to be its own category. Uh, yeah, well, there's a bunch in that category now, like New York, Chicago, yeah. Tampa. Yeah. Uh, What's yeah. New York? Like Arnold, South America, you know? Yeah, Is yeah, New yeah. York tier two or tier three? Three, uh, I guess. It's three. Well, it's, it's the highest of the regular shows. Okay. I'm going to pull up here one sec. Well, yeah, I know Chicago's really good now. Tampa's really good. Um, I thought yeah, it was I five. I thought it was five points for winning. Okay, so tier for, one for contest. A second, no, sorry. sorry. You, you were right. Tier one contest is the Arnold and the yeah. Rising Phoenix for women's bodybuilding. Okay. Tier two is the Arnold Classic Australia, Arnold Brazil, Arnold UK, Pittsburgh Pro. There's no open there, but for, yeah. so for bodybuilding, New York Pro, Tampa Pro, Toronto Pro, and the Orlando Europa. Those were all second tier. Yeah. Well, and then there's also Japan and Pittsburgh. Yeah. So those are all tier two. What's third tier then? Then tier three is Chicago, Vancouver, Portugal, Romania, uh, Legion, so California and Puerto Rico. I'm surprised Toronto. Of, Toronto ahead, was a tier two. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. I thought that was a tier I'm three. I'm surprised Chicago is there. Yeah. Yeah, Chicago I would put up and I'd honestly bring – I'd swap Toronto and, and Chicago. Yeah, I think yeah. that's more promoters working out deals. Trying to get the most yeah. points of those guys. Yeah. And then yeah. every other contest is a tier four. So for a tier four – from fifth up to second, it's one, two, three, four points. So fifth game, one point, four, uh, second game, four points. And then in tier three, it's starting at three, three, four, five, six up to second place. And then in tier twos, it's five, six, seven, eight. And then in tier ones, it's seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. But wait a minute. If you say that, so let's say there's mostly tier three shows left. 
right? Because most, uh, most of the Arnolds are gone. Yeah, so there's only Tampa Pro remaining. And, New, well, New York, right? But Okay, so there's yeah. mostly, mostly tier threes left. So that means yes. second place is six points. Yeah. So that means if you're, if you're Steve and Justin at 21 points, most guys aren't going to be able to get three second places to be able to no. over, overpass no. them. So no, they're pretty, I, they're pretty I, locked in. I think in Justin for, should probably take, take time. I think I, they're both kind of locked in for their points. I mean, if I was Justin, look, if I was Justin, I'll be honest. If I was Justin at this point, you've committed to New York. It's yeah. like two days yeah. away. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. After New York. Yeah. I would do New come. York. That pushes you into first place ahead of Steven Point. So you're completely not at risk now. Yeah, yeah. And then you're done. Just call it after that. You know? That's what I would do. Yeah, for sure. Maybe that's what he's planning. Yeah, maybe. He probably wants to. He probably thinks he can win if he comes know, in I tighter. Like, I, and just for anyone yeah. watching, too, so they don't get this confused if they watch like men's physique or any of the other divisions. Uh, this is only four classes uh, with less than 25 contests in the year. Um, if there's more than 25, so men's physique and bikini, um, it, the points, points are different. Is different. Yeah, yeah, different. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, what are we doing for the bets? Are, is Ian going to drink some dog shit, or are we just going to call it everybody fucked up? And I'll, move I'll on? drink it, but I'll I'll do it after my show. I'm not going to do it today, obviously. <laughs> okay. Are we, but hold are we, me to it. I I take my bets. I hold my bets. Would you hold me to it? That's what I want to know. Well, I mean, yeah. I, every other bet, I shaved my mustache. No, no, I no. I'm not saying you. Sauce. I'm not saying you welch on your bets. I'm saying if this was all reversed and I was the one with the shittiest score, would you yeah. make me do it? Yeah. Probably not. probably not. That's what I thought. I mean, we probably forget. You know. Nick, well, yeah, since we have to wait till after the show, I'll, you got to wait forget. eight and a half weeks, and I don't know if we're going to remember it eight and a half weeks. So. I'll forget by next week. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, the, fans, you, the fans remember, will remember the fans just, will remember okay uh, well, yeah someone's gonna write this shit down <laughs> the fans the, the first episode after i compete someone's gonna remember he, it he is gonna win everybody congrats drink your shake yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> if someone brings it up if someone brings it up i will do it okay all right um so let's talk about new york then yeah uh let's see here well, we should we want to talk about indy let's talk about indy okay let's talk about indy first you're right yeah. So how did we get it so wrong? Blessing. You know, it's funny. I saw, I kept on showing pictures of blessing leading up to the show thinking but he's looking better and better and better. The only reason why I didn't have him in the top two is I didn't think his legs were going to look as good as they did. Hmm. Yeah, like I, he still needs some size on his legs, but they're, con- but they're they've, they've, they they look really good. and they didn't look like there wasn't a big disproportion at all. No, not, no, he, he was very, very big and wide up pop in his legs. I think work, from the back, not bad. From the back, I thought his hams and glutes were a little soft. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But o- overall, he, he looked phenomenal. Well, yeah, like, you can see his clients. He had striations in his glutes. Like, he, he wasn't out of shape by any stretch from the back. So, no. it was definitely enough to, to look good, you know? I'll leave it mostly to you guys because I had a huge meeting on Saturday and I couldn't this watch. Is, he, he just flows really well. But what I did see, I thought, I thought uh, Charles had him from the back. I would agree there. And I overall, thought yes. – and I thought – Every other pose was blessings. It's hard because, like, Charles. Yeah, I don't even was, know. I really like blessings back. Yeah, it was hard because Charles was very hard. That's like, the part that got me. His back. Yeah, and he's maybe more complete top to bottom in the back shot, but uh, but blessing does have a little more thickness through the back, even though Charles is wide. Like the rectors and like mid back was definitely had some more depth to it, and his lats are very wide. But from the lower back, like erectors down to like hamstrings. Is, is not great, but uh, his his back itself is actually pretty decent. The part that got me about Charles was the thickness, but mostly the hardness and detail. His hamstrings were more corded. Everything looked drier. Yeah, yeah like his um, side shots, like his side chest and stuff. His side chest looked super nasty. Side try was yeah. awesome. His yeah. back lat was really good. Um, I think it was you know, more of like a... Nice, you know? I think it's what you said. Like, I didn't watch the video, so I don't know for sure, but... It's more of what I saw was more of what you said, Ian, which is it's ov- overall, yeah. like the overall picture yeah. was better for Blessing than it yeah, was. I just, I, I just think Blessing had a more 3D depth effect to his effect, you know, through his chest, he had more pop. His arms were like nice and popping 3D. Like his back is very 3D. Even if the conditioning wasn't as good, he has a very nice like, wow, pop to his physique, you know? So just to explain to people who don't watch bodybuilding what that is, it's very small bones. Like one yeah. of the things you see, the reason you get that when you look at a flex wheeler or you look at a blessing or guys like that is if you look at their wrists, if you look at their knees, if you look at their, they're fucking tiny. So they have really, really small joints small in, bones, it, in, it, in the genet- genetics of it, it allows the muscle to look like it sweeps off the bone 
creating a rounder, more three D look. Yeah, yeah. Like, Some, so, you know. like guys like Ian Nick are thicker, you know, th- thicker fucking white genetics. They got to be way thicker to look like. I bet you Blessing probably weighed what two fifty, two forty five. How much would I, you say I, he weighed on stage? I, I have no idea. If I if I heard correctly, he was almost two sixty. Really? Yeah. He's not, sh- how, he, but he's a little bit taller, old? right? He's like 5'10", 5'11". Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Five, it's a little about my But I just, I guess what I'm trying to say is when you have those kind of genetics, you don't have to push weight as much and you can look bigger. Like yeah, Phil, Heath, yeah. Phil Heath never weighed a ton. No, but he looked fucking... just like what? Low 240, yeah. 250 at most maybe? Yeah, yeah. 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 So they're just, uh, it's a genetic gift. Yeah. So what do you guys think? So Charles was second. Who was third at the show last week? Max. Max was third. <laughs> So that kind of shit on everybody, and especially back at night. Ate, or actually, Nick, you ate the most shit about about that one. <laughs> <laughs> you went in hard on Max last week. <laughs> yeah. um, you didn't even. Yeah, no. Max was Max was a lot better at night. He came in a lot harder, and Justin was a little worse at night too. So yes. that, that definitely sealed the deal on him. Max was uh, a he looked really good at night. So did he? Um, so props did to did Max fix any of his? issues like was his back dry did is anything did it like what was it about max he was in he was in at the night especially he was in good condition for max but like this i don't even know if it's just like how his muscles are laid out or what it is you know but it's still not the same level of hardness front to back no yeah 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 Yeah. well his level of hardness from the front is like oh it's it's top it's top three olympia level like chest and abs are crazy sliced yeah yeah. he's got top three olympia abs he's got he's actually he's got good arms too his arms are well. His from arms are really thick from the front, like waist up. He's amazing. Yeah, his arms are really thick, but they don't have a ton of detail. True. There's yeah. one thing his I know. Quads, it's like, his quads actually didn't look too bad either. They had some good roundness to them. Um, there's not super deep separation in them, but they didn't look small from the front by any stretch. So, what was Justin's issue? He just missed the mark. He just missed conditioning wise. Yeah, hey, I just think he missed it, man. Yeah, he just didn't have like a oh, that wow kind of hardness, graininess that he usually has. He looked more like he did like before he started winning shows, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and like then- lots of muscle, but still like just a, a little layer. And then from the back, then there was no lines in his hamstrings, even though they looked tight. It was just like a little film of water, same through his glutes. Yeah, and then yeah. because his back, which is one of his most impressive parts, wasn't super hard, it didn't have like crazy yeah. detail pop, you know? You know what I think I of Justin? You know what I think of Justin? You guys might agree or disagree. I don't know. But when I see Justin, it reminds me of my physique only in one way. If I was like 5% off, it looked like I just looked like complete shit. I had yeah. to be like 100% on or it didn't look right. Yeah. And I almost feel that way about Justin. If he's not like uh-huh. sharp as sharp as fuck, then something just doesn't, it doesn't yeah. show his physique as well. Yeah. Where yeah. some guys, some guys, I think you can be slightly off and still kind of get away with it. You know what I mean? Like, like Samson, Samson has been like 100% shredded and like 90% shredded. He still looks awesome when he's 90% shredded. Yeah. So it it's like the same condition wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some people can pull it off, some people can't. So then fifth, Ian, you're gonna eat shit on this one. Who or no? Is it? I think it might be you, Ian. I Cause, had because uh... we remember we looked at this guy. I can't remember which one of you. So somebody said, I think it was guy. He said. I don't know who that guy is. Pull him up. So I pulled oh, up. Picked, the... A bunch of us had Ron Paul in our top five. No, but Ron, Ron, Gordon. Ron Gordon. Ron Gordon wasn't fifth, was he? No, he was not. He was like last caller. No, I know. Who's the guy that was fifth? The white guy. Because somebody we pulled him up and then everybody was like, no, no, he's not going to place in the top five. Oh, who? wait. No, yeah. it was Brent Swanson. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah, Brent wow. Swanson came fifth. That was so sick. He was just peeled out of his mind. But we looked at him, I remember, and you guys were like, nah, he's not going to play. So. Well, no, and I mean, look, to be fair, if you ask Brent himself going into the show, if he thought he was going to be top five, he probably would have said no also. What's but his, he, uh... came in, he came in crazy peeled in a show where there wasn't a lot of guys that were super peeled. He had enough muscle to stand in the first call out, and his conditioning just shined, you know? Yeah, I hate when we get it this wrong, though. Yeah, we really we fucked the pooch hard on this. We I fucked up. <laughs> we shit the bed on this. One. <laughs> How could people trust us after that? I know. We literally there... know nothing about bodybuilding. <laughs> That's what people probably think that now. They're like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> um, I'm There's trying to find some photos. That have been following bodybuilding for like six months that got like five out of five, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, here's kind of a photo. Let me see. We are we fucked up. Uh this is Max Charles Blessing and 
Justin is top four, and then we have you, Matt you Kuba. About the pop, the pop though. This is Swanson. Is it Swanson here? No, no. Swanson's he's not there. In, he's not in either of those pictures. Okay, I don't. I'm not sure what he looks okay, like. Okay, wait. Do you see what I mean? The on the pop, the pop one, on blessing. Just look at pop, his pop. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. His glaze yeah. was really nice. He had a good, just like pop to him. Yeah, I hear and what you're saying. You can see Justin through his quads and midsection, just a little like. He wash, there, he's yeah. washed out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just um, go to page. One second. I just want to look at this for a second. So Ron Gordon. Yeah, he was last caller. This is why this is why Instagram is tricky, right? And the high hard. lats don't look as good on stage, and his quads obviously he needs to be so, twenty pounds heavier with that height. You know, I, I just want to say this because somebody messaged me. <sighs> like, I think somebody messaged me last week, and they said, "How come guys look so good two weeks out or a week out, and they don't look good on stage?" And I'm like, "This is exactly why. When you're on stage, there is nowhere to hide. There's no yeah. short. There's no shorts. There's no tank top. The lights are fucking super bright." And you're standing, right. and you're standing twenty feet. Yeah, back. also so some see. things that look like freaky on Instagram, like you know, posting that and showing your long waist and high lats looks good. But then when you do it on stage with guys with a little thicker lower lats, it doesn't look quite look as really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very, very different. Instagram is, it's not. I don't want to say it's easy, but it's easier to hide your weaknesses. Yeah, there's nowhere to hide when you're on stage. There's nowhere to. There's nowhere to like get away. Nowhere. From. Yeah, you're standing on stage. You're in a fucking little pair of underwear. All your weaknesses are going to come out eventually. I, I can't believe there's not more photos of this, like of the lineups and stuff on this page. Keep going down. Uh, there's it. nothing, man. Oh, wait, here's something. No, that's not this year. It isn't? No. Oh, no, that's last year. Yeah, yeah there's nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is just the photo, but you can see Justin here is kind of holding the film. Yeah, and that's not even from the show. That's not from the show. <laughs> is this what this is what he won last year, isn't it? That's New York Pro. That's when he came second to me in New York. No, this is Indie Pro. It says Indie Pro in the back. In the back. Is that Indie or is that? Oh yeah, that's I N D. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was the N Y. Yeah. yeah, Indie. So yeah, he won that last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it says right there. It must, camp. Yeah. yeah, it must be the photo. It just looks yeah. like blurred out. Um. All right. Well, we have to find some fucking. Just go to Brent's page. Brent, what is it? Swanson. Swanson. There you go. First one. This guy. Holy fuck, he's peeled, eh? Yeah, just like hard as nails. Like clearly yeah. not the prettiest physique, but I mean, like that hardness was completely unmatched, you know? He this was is, really good. This is crazy. Yeah. Like, look at that. <laughs> just this is fucking... this is a guy who said, "I don't give a fuck what the scale says." Yep. I'm just gonna peel off every ounce of fat on my body. Yep. He's a big dude in person, so he's like he's not a small guy, you know. He's just got some, you know, he's got some strong points and some areas that are lagging. But yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it's it's a it's a very like kind of boxy, angular physique. But I mean, like it's like it with that kind of conditioning, man. You can't, you know what I mean? That's yeah, it's hard to ignore. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, I like I it it. Gave me like I like seeing that reward to that level, you know. Yeah, everybody. I think everybody can admire like because you know what kind of work it takes. You know what kind of work ethic has to be there to get like that. Yeah, and like it, yeah. you know, obviously, I'm not a guy that's like showing up with like a, you know, Brandon Curry shaped physique. So like to see like more of the hardness and then the yeah. conditioning being rewarded, even if his physique is not the, the prettiest on stage, was still nice to see. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree. Um. All right. So. Moving from Indy, New York, are New York. on to New York. Do you want to talk about the 212 at all? About that Brian Balzano guy won? I didn't even get a chance He's to look great, at man. it. I'm, I'm all for it, though. Where can we, where can we find He's photos? He's great. Just go to Brian, or Brian Balzano's page. Or, I mean, buy some tries or someone will have all this shit. I don't know. I'm trying to find. I'm surprised there's not more. Oh, wait. Here's some more. Okay. Let's see this. Bodybuilders of the Borders. Yeah. I feel like does a good job. There's Brian Balzano there. Yeah. He's always, he's got it. You know what? The guy gets super peeled, but it's just a little bit like he's a little thick through the midsection. Uh, I mean, he looked pretty good in all the shots. Like this is, he looks a little washy in these photos, but let's see everyone. Yeah. It's just That's, bad. Uh, is that Noel or Noel? I yeah, say he, it? he got second. Yeah. His, his quads, like his quad sweep versus his calf just looks weird as fuck to me, you know? That's like Ian Cabs. Yeah, <laughs> with, with, with quads with a way higher and more protruding sweep. 
<laughs> so it makes the calves look even smaller. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's like his lower leg. Look how long his lower leg is compared to Brian's. Yeah, that's true. Eh? The knees are like, like yeah. so long. Yeah. Even the guy next to him is taller than him and his knee starts higher than his. Yeah. On the other side. He looks good. But yeah, I mean, he has those fucking crazy cheese grater glutes, you know? Mm -hmm. That's got to be genetic to some degree. Yeah, because it's not 100% representative of his conditioning everywhere. Like, he'll have good conditioning. Like, this is very good conditioning. But there's guys that are in this kind of condition or better with way less glutes, you know? I want to see, like, a front relaxed. This is stuff before finals. Look at the shreds. I like I like what a muscle is peaked like that where it doesn't look shredded until he flexes it and then like it's like oh, yeah. yeah 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 he's got good calves too fucking big ass calves <laughs> yeah I'm jealous <laughs> yeah I was gonna say Ian's in the phase where he's like first thing he looks at is calves <laughs> hey man I've been training them hard I'm I'm trying to get that out of my I know I know you are see his stomach is throwing me off a bit you see that. Yeah, it, it's just that he's got. It's not that he's got a distended stomach. It's just got he's got thicker obliques. Yeah, it looks like he may be a touch like bloated through the stomach too, maybe. But that's why I just wanted to see like a front relax because I, I don't know. I don't want to say that before seeing what he looks like. But there's no because all the shots from the front, he's got his hands clasped. I can't see anything. Yeah, Brian, if you're listening, I'd like to see a front. Look at his fucking legs here. I know. <laughs> it's like, it's calves. Look at those fucking calves. That's so ridiculous. That reminds me, you know, that reminds me of fucking uh, Withers. Yeah. Not quite as a ridiculous sweep, but they're nice. No, but I mean, he's very bottom heavy. It's more Fankhauser looking to me, you know, just a little yeah. small. Yeah. Good for him, man. So who, so Noel was second. Look at this. Fucking pumped. Fresh after a fucking massage him. Yeah. Yeah, that, that conditioning is fucking special. <laughs> Those glutes are just ridiculous. I know. Okay, so. it looks like they would feel that hard, you know, like, no. like like it would feel like touching a countertop, you know. This is last year, obviously. Yeah, he was second or third last year. Uh, yeah. I don't remember. Um. Okay, so it's not going to go back now. So who was second? Noel was second. Yeah. yeah. Noel always seems to be like, is he? Correct he me. He won the I show once, and he's been second like every other time. That's what I figured. Yeah. It's like, is it, yeah. I wonder it's what just, it is. Physique just really doesn't flow super well, you know? Yeah. So somebody's where, always kind of coming. I don't know. Did I pass it already? Oh yeah. You're way past it. Where the fuck am I going here? Oh, wow. Well, well. Oh, there, there's a video. Yeah. Who's this guy? He ended up coming third, I think. I think he was third. Yeah. Who's this guy? Irod Cuban freak, Emmanuel Rodriguez. It's a nice physique. It reminds me of uh, Epler a little bit. Or Brandon Bell. Or Brandon Bell, yeah. Yeah. There's some pictures there. He's just a little thin, but he looks good. I see what you're saying about Brian's midsection here, though. Yeah, you see that? It's just... Yeah. It's not bad. It's not, like, distended. He's just got... No, it's, he's his, it's his frame. Well, it's just like it's something's just a little quite not right there, you know? Yeah. I mean, Adame literally has Rammy quads from the front. I mean, even from the side, they're ridiculous. Yeah, I know, eh? Where the fuck? Oh, what happened there? Wait, let me go back. Yeah, this is crazy. But then, like, it doesn't match the thickness of his arms and lats and chest, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. His legs remind me of Kevin English. Is that what I'm thinking of? Uh, the guess. shape I see, yeah. Yeah. Kevin English's weren't that big, but they're that shape. Yeah. It's got fucking shreds, eh? Look at that. Yeah. He's, oh. in, he's in shape. Yeah, this guy looks good. Uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez. First time seeing him on stage. And then I think Umon Eaton was fourth. One second. Let's see if I can see anything. It's a little blurry. Can you change the quality? I don't know. How do you do that? Click that. No, you can't. No. So this is Emmanuel. Who's this guy? He's got, good, he's got a good back. Yeah. Then Noel and then Brian. And then Brian, yeah. And Brian's conditioning just stands out so much. Brian's conditioning, but also most complete from the back. Yeah, flow, like wide as yeah. stick it back, good hamstring, yeah. good glutes, good calves, good arms. This guy looks good. I, it was a conditioning thing. I would have put him in I, like, I honestly the back. Think he looks when second. Umon placed fourth behind 
the other guy, and I'm not saying I don't know either of these guys, so this isn't like yeah. a bias of mine. I think yeah. the crowd seemed a little like kind of uh, on that one, you know? Yeah, I mean, from the, the back, the commentating, I like when the commentators when Bob and whatever, what's her name? Uh, anyways, well, when they were doing the commentating, they were kind of like, oh shoot, that's a surprise, you know? I hate to judge like by this because it's so blurry, so I don't yeah. know what the I don't know what the conditioning is like, but from the back, he's very very complete. And he was good from the front too. He's a he's a good body. I think he's older too. He's an older guy. Let's see if we can. I think he's like in his mid forties. Judge anything here from? Oh yeah. yeah. Look him up. Go on this Instagram video. One sec. I just want to. I watch this for a minute. Sorry, everybody who's watching the podcast. I just curious. So back lat spread. He's got a thick back. Yeah. Yeah. The hamstrings are ham- ha- still ham- looking right right away on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, his conditioning is definitely and his thickness also. But I have like physique wise, I have this guy in second. Yeah, I, 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 you could definitely make a case for that. I don't disagree. I think it's a conditioning thing, judging by what I'm seeing. We'll here. go to his Instagram, see if he has any pictures. Wait, I just want to see there. from the front what he looks like. Let's fast forward. Wait. Yeah, so I did. Uh, does his stomach look like it's not being held in properly. I can't really tell. Let me go. Let's, no. go, to, let's go to his. Uh, do you know his name, Ian? Yeah, why you, you, Mon? Why you, M O N? You, Mon? This guy? Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, to me, it was looks like his stomach was a little bit of an issue. Yeah, I can see that. It's a very like m- kind of mini Sean Road looking for DK. Yeah, but yeah. Sean's this is the difference between him and Sean. Sean had very sweepy quads. Yeah. And a tiny waist. This guy's almost got a little bit of the opposite. If you notice, his sweep doesn't start till halfway no, down his quad. A low sweep with bigger adductors to compensate, and then his midsection. But he's an older guy. I mean, he's holding the midsection pretty good for. His no, age. no. Listen, I'm not. We're being. I'm just trying to. Oh, show critical people. in terms of winning pro. I'm just trying to show people at home what the yeah. issue might have been. Solid cast. Uh, uh, I'm definitely not knocking him, but even in this like front last spread, you can see like yeah, you can see that the stomach kind of pulls up, and it might be a posing issue, and the legs aren't. Uh, big it just it just looks support. like the waist of a, a little bit older guy to me, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can yeah, see okay. it here too. It's kind of like taking up more of the physique than the rest of the guys. Yeah, yeah. He looks good though. He looks good. Yeah. yeah. Good. I like seeing good shows, man. Um. Where's bodybuilders of the borders? Let's go to New York. Let's do it. All right. So are we going to bet on this one again? No. No, we'll just do this for fun, this one. You fucking it's, it's a lot of the same guys. You guys know. suck balls. I mean, I'll you bet. Balls. If you want to bet. I'm not gonna, <laughs> if, it's, balls. if it's anything food, you're going to have to wait eight weeks for it. If you want me to like shave my face, okay, then we'll, we can do a bet. I'm you not shaving, shaving my head. Will you shave your head, Ian? Oh, no. It might not grow back. Not not in time for my show, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know who Paul Baker is. Should we look him up? Uh, I don't know who a lot of these people are. Slavoj, we, I know who that is. Max, Ross. Ross is doing it. So Ross, what is you not guys, doing it. Ross is not doing it. Okay. Did you guys see anything about – I know Ross did a YouTube video about something that yeah, went his wrong. Peak, his peak was not good. He just looked like he was – I don't know, like flat and, and watery, you know? How fucking disappointing is that? The guy was super fucking peeled. Yeah. All the yeah, way up. The, the peak wasn't quite there. What about size-wise? Could he have held his own if he was shredded? No. It wasn't big enough. No, he needs size, yeah. No, and that was what he said. The first thing he said in his post, like getting off for a story, was like, I knew, like, I got a lot of growing to do, and I kind of expected that going in, you know? Sometimes you need to see it in person before you realize. Yeah. Um. Okay, let me go back. Sorry. Okay, uh, Douglas Frucci is probably going to be shredded, but yeah. maybe he's a little right. bit more size. Dorian Haywood, Peter Clancier, is he actually going to do it this time? Yeah. Okay, Theo. Looks, I'm always a fan of Theo. If he me comes too. in fucking shredded, he could do really well. Yeah. Uh, Bruce, Just like a classy chap to me too, you know? Yeah. Bruce, <laughs> Amir, Amir, see, this is one guy. Amir is one guy I think should be taking more time off. Yeah, he's, he's so like, young too. You he's know? 23 or something like that, and I'm like – why don't you just take a fucking year or two off and yeah. grow because he has yeah. a great physique. Yeah. And if he brings his quads up a little more, I mean, he'll be fucking, he'll be tough, you know, cause his conditioning is like outrageous. Andre Presti is a dark horse for me. Yeah. He's completely dependent on conditioning. Very good shape. Good muscularity. If he's, if he's not in shape, which I hate to say is more often than not. No, uh, he, that's not true. Last year he was peeled fucking two or three times in a row. And, and did where? 
Well, he won two shows, didn't he, last year? Andre Presti, did he? Yeah. He won one, I think. Okay, well, one's not good enough. <laughs> no, but I, I'm saying that was the only one I could think of with amazing, with good, good conditioning, you know? Didn't he do the Arnold? No, I don't think so. No, he didn't no, do it. No, when we did it, when we did it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the wrong Andre. He, oh, you're not thinking of Andre Presti. So Andre Presti won. What's the uh, other one? The Andre. Agassi? <laughs> That's a tennis player, bro. <laughs> no, what's know. his name? Oh, Andre Muzzi there. Andre the, Muzzi, this guy, the yeah. Italian guy. Yeah, yeah he, Italian guy. you're right pretty, about that. You're right. Very about pretty that. shape, but he misses yeah. his conditioning. But yes, Presti yeah. is always peeled, 100%. My apologies yeah. to both of them. Yeah. So he won the big man, Mr. Big Evolution show in Portugal. I you're right. Yeah. But I thought he won another one last year, didn't he? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, anyway, I think he's going to be a dark horse because if he put on any fucking size, it we'll has that, con- it has that conditioning. It's going to be nuts. And I think he's a super nice guy, so I might be a little bit... Let's see what he's looking like, Theo's looking like, and Amir's looking like. I want to see them. Okay. Theo, Theo, I always feel, leaves a little bit left. Yeah. Could be, could be a little... a, I think in person, he's a very big guy. So when you see him on stage, he's a lot more imposing, you know? Well, no, no. I, I totally see the size. I just feel like he needs to be a little bit sharper. Yeah. This is Andre Presti. I like Presti. He's a funny guy, too. Yeah, he's always just sliced out of his mind here. <laughs> Did he do this in slow motion or is he actually moving in slow motion? <laughs> I can't. It seems like he slowed it down a little bit. <laughs> well, he's definitely shredded. Yeah. It's weird. You know, when you see him, you don't think he's going to be big enough. But then when you see him on stage. No, he's, he's a relatively decent sized guy in person. I've done a few shows with him. I remember when I met him at the Arnold, I could not believe how wide yeah. he was. Yeah, he's a, he's a big dude. He just looks like he has a couple holes to fill still in his back yeah, like, like his back and his hamstrings obviously yeah. need some improvement yeah, but his I leg think he, is a hole i think he kills people with conditioning though yes his it, that's definitely his calling card yeah i just couldn't believe the width of him i mean he was wearing a hoodie but still it was like well, he's a big he's a big dude he looked like he was fucking four or five feet across i mean look at him sitting there in the t-shirt that other one with the other guys you can see it. he's a fucking you know yeah but these are like normal dudes yeah, <laughs> still, like, he's yeah. fucking huge you know yeah yeah uh okay let's go back to the oh it's over here sorry okay um okay so we have theo amir andre justin rodriguez i don't know who can we see how theo's looking yeah i don't know how i don't know who joji and marius are i don't either um there's a lot of uh europeans Eastern, eastern world people here i wonder if this is recent what does it say? When was it posted? Well, four it was days post, ago. Posted four days ago, but I don't know if it's now. If it is recent, then yeah, obviously his conditioning needs to be a little crisper. Yeah. This is what I see. This is what I mean about about Theo. I think he has a physique that could win shows. Yeah, because like he looks like nice shape. He's big, good developed abs. He's and pretty complete. And I don't think pitchers do him justice. Like he's no, a big he's, person. He's like he's like a kuklo where he's a lot bigger in person. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I I remember seeing him on stage with people. I'm like, fuck, that guy's way bigger. Yeah, he must be five eleven or six foot at least. Yeah. But he's wide too. Like he's yeah. very imposing. And yeah. uh, but it's still like when you look at this, you're like, okay, if this is recent, like I don't know how recent, but it says a week ago. If this so this is like a week and a half out. I feel like it's still. I agree. A little behind. And this is all I'm looking for from him. I'm like, I'm waiting for Theo to show up and be like. Oh, wait, with, it said there how far he is out in those photos. After days of hard work, we're now right direction for New York Pro. Oh, night, right direction. Okay. It's covered by your your pictures. So I couldn't see those ends. Uh, let's see. If this a back shot. Yeah, see, like, this is good for like five weeks out. Yeah, that's like five to seven week out conditioning. Yeah, like it's. His physique in the side chest looks a lot like Regan's, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it just he won't be ready. No, not quite. And I mean, and that's not that's significant travel for him too, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's a back shot, back double. No, yeah. that's at three weeks. So yeah, no, he's not going to be there. No, no. I mean, if he they're is, still fat. they're still fat there. If he is, yeah. he's going to sacrifice some muscle to get there. I mean, look, if he gets it in time, I mean, fucking all the power to him. But yeah, I'm, well, if, I'm betting, well, if I'm a betting man, I'm not saying so. No. Yeah. I think I'm with you guys on that, but yeah, he's got a really, yeah, he's just got a really nice physique. I think, you know, yeah, no, I'm, 
I like his physique. And like, he'd almost look short in videos, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like the first time I saw him in video, I'm like, oh, this guy looks good. I remember even Paul, because Paul was watching with us. He's like, oh, that Theo guy looks really, really good. And, you know, Paul's got the eye for judging and stuff. And then we saw him on stage. We're like, holy fuck, that guy's way bigger than we thought. I remember. I was on those with you. Yeah. It was like impressive. But Hey, now okay. look at Amir. Let's see how Amir's looking. Amir. What's the last name? Amir who? No, E-M-I-R. Oh, Amir. <laughs> okay, sorry. Amir. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Amir. Amajic? Amerjic? Like, see what I mean? Like, look, so this is a super pretty physique. Yeah. And he's only like 22 or 23 here. And I'm like, why not just shut it down for a couple of years and put on the mass you need? You're not yeah. like, why, like, why be in a rush? He's doing, he's doing well enough that it's like, he wants to keep going, you know? Yeah. But do you want to be fourth and fifth and third a whole bunch of times? Or do you want to just come in and kill everybody? Wait, five days out. So did he already do a show? <laughs> he did uh, the this Arnold, is Arnold South America, Arnold South America. Did he do it? Yeah, I remember. I think we. I remember, I remember he put pictures up. It's oh, here. there. He didn't do well, eh? No, I think. Well, I think he was in the top five. Yeah, he was oh, fifth. Okay, he was fifth. I mean, that's good. Year. Oh yeah, yeah he's fifth. Yeah, 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 duh. Yeah, but it wasn't like a super deep lineup, and I'm not saying that's not. It's still fifth is good. No, but for like, a super young guy, that's still very good. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is like the the shape of the physique is there. It's like just take some time, man. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, look how good this is for fucking 22 or 23. It gets dry, too. Dry, dry. Yeah. Well, good yeah. for him anyway, man. It's, like, it's impressive that he's done that at, at that age. Yeah, I agree. Because he's, like, under 25. See what I mean he? there? Look at that. Wait, I want to go. Fuck, I want to go back. Look at the structure. Yeah. He's got, <laughs> he's got a little bit of a long waist, but with a little bit more added lat size and quad thickness. This could be fucking really dangerous. Yeah. I agree. Especially with a guy that knows like how to push it and get in shape, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're back here. Yeah. Oh, and okay. Peter Pinter, I don't know what he looks like right now, but he looked, he's good. Yeah, Peter I don't think is, he's posted any actual pictures. Peter is very thick. No, it's Peter Molnar. Let's see. Just write his last name. Oh, I think it's a K actually, isn't it? K-L-A-N. Oh, it's Pitar. Okay. Pitar. Um, I don't think this is recent, recent. This this is from the last show before he dropped out. Uh, yeah, I don't know if any of these are. But he's a fucking big dude. He's a big, big guy. I think his knock always when he was competing is he just couldn't get that last little bit off. Yeah. And if that's still the case now, then that could be an issue. But he's super fucking big. Big round arm, delt, chest. That flows nicely like all through those. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Good legs. Look at that fucking physique. That's thick as fuck. Yeah. That's two weeks ago before Indy. So, yeah, days I mean, ago. he could be in shape for sure, you know? Yeah. He looks good. Milos is coaching him? I don't think Milos coaches him, does he? Oh, I saw Milos' comment there. I didn't know if it was. What do you say? As I said on DJ's podcast today with Dexter and George Ferrer, in an ideal world, I see you winning. I yeah, know. he did. I, I watched that. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, I don't know if that means he's coaching him or not. I don't know. No, I, no, I don't think he is. I think he's just a really big fan of his physique. Neil Hill commented, "They're all poaching him. They're all trying. They're yeah. all trying to get. They got to get this guy. We get him shredded. We look great." Uh, okay, back to the fucking board. Okay, who wants to all go right. first? I'll go first. Go ahead. I mean, hot off the dub, I'm going to put Blessing in first on this one, so. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put Blessing first. I should write these down. One sec. I mean, I got, I got to put a little bit of faith in my boy, Justin, that he's going to pull it in this week. Actually, no. I'm going to put Peter in, in second. Damn. Lost the faith. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to be different. You know, I put Justin first the last show and, you know, not that he let me down or anything, but it's just like, you know, try, try to put someone new in the mix, you know? Okay. New York pro first. Ian. We're very similar already. Ian has blessing in first. Peter first. second. Peter, Peter. Peter. Yeah. Who's Peter. Ja, uh, ooh, now we get to Justin and Max because Max just beat him last week. I'm going to go Justin then Max. Justin. 
Max still getting no respect. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go Presty. Okay. Nick. I feel good with that. That's good. That's a good pick. Um let's see. I'll go blessing. Blessing. Justin. Justin. Pitar. Pitar. <laughs> Max. Max. Dorian Haywood. Didn't you, didn't you have him in the top five last time? I did. No, I had I had Ross in the top five. I'm in fifth. Okay, so Ross, gonna, Ross uh, let me down. Oh my god, I forgot my dog was here. Um, actually, when we're thinking of it, I'm going to give some a question or constructive feedback to Dorian Haywood. Can you pull those pictures? Wait one second. I want to. I want to hear this. Oh, not, it's something I just want to. If he's watching, I want to know the answer. He's not if, watching this not, shit. What? He's not watching this shit. What? Dude, everyone what? watches this podcast. Hey, everyone watches this shit, man. Dorian Haywood. Okay, now go to the pictures there and go yeah. find the back double. Okay, what? Is it just me? Go back. Go back. Oh, oh my God. Wait, I might want to change. <laughs> what? <laughs> I might want to change my top five. I don't think I want him in my top. What are five. you saying? What are you saying, Ian? Okay, look at his the size of his glutes. Now go around to the front and look at the size of his quads. You know, find a front shot. These are side shots. I know. I'm looking. Relax. He's so fucking demanding. <laughs> See, yeah. now his quads obviously are are definitely needing of improvement. Yes. His glutes and his hamstrings go back to them. Yes, are humongous. Are gigantic. Yes. Whatever he's doing in terms of his foot placement and knee flexion on his squatting and leg pressing and hack squatting is clearly you like like his glutes are if anything too big those are gigantic glutes you know? i'm telling you exactly what he's doing what he shouldn't do he needs to put his feet lower on the platform. he needs to stop squatting period because he's using i would i would agree with you yeah. and do hack squats and leg press with your feet Low. so there's as much knee flexion as possible yeah 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 more yeah. knee bend the better if there's yeah. any doubt of knee bend, just do more of it. You know? Now, the only arrogant thing about Unless saying, he's doing that already, I don't know. But this is what I was going to say. The only arrogant thing about us saying this is I'm pretty sure Dorian Haywood has been around long enough that he probably knows that. But usually, you know, I mean, look, usually, look. Well, let, me say, let me finish. Usually when you end up with an imbalance like this, it's hard to change it. Because now every time he fucking trains legs, yeah. his glutes and hamstrings are probably taking over. It's like a guy that has massive arms and a small chest. Yeah. Yeah, no, look, and look, I, I mean, I'm one of the guys with the chest, so I understand. And uh, but yeah, like your triceps are huge. Down, what? Like your triceps and shoulders yes, are huge. But I learned that was a lot of technical things and form things. Yeah, yeah. That I was able to fix, and I'm slowly improving it. So I'm just saying, I, look, I'm not trying to say that he doesn't know anything. Dorian is a, like is probably smarter than I am. I have no idea. But I'm saying if he is doing that, because like I mean, I even had this conversation with one of my clients lately, Justin. Yeah. who has super overdeveloped glutes. And then I saw him posting videos of him squatting on the Smith and his stance is very, very wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of his, his knee bend is minimal. So he's barely baking, breaking the plane of 90 at, his, at the knee. Yeah, but it yeah. looks like he's going super deep because of how much he's shooting his hips out, you know? Sure, sure, sure. So then all the load is onto his glutes. So he has massive glutes, but his quads are, are good, but they definitely need improvement. It's almost the same as Dorian. Yeah, yeah I mean... Yeah. I think a better way to, to, to stop doing that. And if you're going to do it, you know, use a heel rise and squat like narrow and as much knee flexion feet under you as much as possible, not ahead of you and yeah, as yeah. much knee flexion as possible. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's really good advice. I would say that's great for people listening. Yeah. I bet you, I think Dorian Haywood probably knows that already, you're, but you're, pro you're probably right. So it's then, a yes, good, but, this is a good lesson for people watching though. Because more to the viewers then. Yeah. It's good for people watching though, because if you're younger and you're already seeing this happen, Ian's advice is perfect so that you can start to change it now instead of waiting because Dorian Haywood's in his forties, I want to say, or late thirties. Yeah. He's in his 40s, so I'm like, he, he's kind of past the point. Like once you get to a certain point, it's hard to kind of make things sure. come, yeah. come back. 
So if you're younger and you're seeing this happening, and to we, your, I also don't know, maybe he has some kind of knee injury where he can't do, yeah. you know, movements in a certain way, whatever. I have no idea, but just looking at it, it looks like obviously from his movement patterns that he's using a lot more glute and hamstring in his yeah. squatting, leg pressing, whatever movements. Yeah. No, it's great advice. It's great yeah. advice for anybody watching for sure. Okay. Let's go back to the board. Wait, uh, could, what? Wait. what? All this being said, I, I still would like to change my top five. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> just take it for the team nick I, I i just want to change my fifth place up. okay one second <laughs> okay <laughs> okay who's your fifth place? who's your fifth place um i i i'm honestly um i want to go with andrea rusty so yeah. me and him are the same other than we swap two and three. You yeah. swap two and three. That's right. I actually think Nick has a has better picks. You have Justin over. Well, I don't have I don't have anything yet. I want to be different and just pick Andre Andrea second place, but I still think Justin's gonna be too thick. And I probably think he's gonna bring in a little tighter than last week. If he if he just comes in like 10% better, he'll be fighting for first. I think I'm, Peter's just going to have a physique that we don't see super a lot over here. Like it's just a different kind of looking physique that we haven't seen. If he's in good condition, I think he'll be, he'll be tough. I'm going to, I'm going to go just to be different. I'm going to go Justin first. Cause I think he's going to bring it back to down in condition okay, and get, get shape. I'm going to go Justin first. I'm going to go blessing second. Sure. I'm going to go max third. I'm going to go Presti fourth. And I'm going to say, uh, I think Clancy here. You're basically down to Clancy or Theo, I guess. Or Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Or Amir. Or Haywood. Yeah. No, not Haywood. I was looking at Amir. Or Amir. Um, but Amir, or, I think, or, might be. Or Doug Fruki comes fucking peeled out of the nines. I don't know. I think Fruchi and Amir. So, did you even look at who this Joji guy is? Who is this? Can we look at this guy? Joji Seki. Joji! Maybe this is some crazy Japanese guy with like 40 inch quads. Those come out sometimes, you know? <laughs> is that him? <laughs> I don't even know. Who the fuck? Followed by Henry Pierre. No, that's not it. Followed Joe by Haki. No, that's not him. Joe Jilla? No. Bro, that's not him. Joji Sakin. Sakin. Just type in his last name. I know, Ian. I know. I'm going. Man. Put a space. No, delete the first. Oh, there you go. Papa. Papa Sakin. He is a, how'd you know he was Asian? What? How'd you know he was Asian? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love, I love you guys. I so, mean, he's, he, this, is a, this is an older gentleman. Am I wrong? Potentially. I don't know. I feel like they, they don't age. Yeah, so Who's they? He, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. He used the they. <laughs> they. <laughs> First of all, you're totally wrong. But second of all, if you said they, you no. can't say they. <laughs> they have two ages. They have young and they have old. That's all there is. That's right. They, yeah. they stay young forever. And then they just yeah, get you're 30 one. and then all of a sudden you're 130. <laughs> you know? That's true. Yeah. An unintentional <laughs> sprinkle of racism. Nice. Okay. I was yeah, like, I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. No, I think that is though. I think, I think it's, it's not actually that big of a disparity. I think there's lots that age, but what we see is the what I think Asians smoke in insane <laughs> numbers. Yeah. Like they're the highest smoking people. So you get like the 30 year olds or 40 year olds that have been like smoking two packs a day. Yeah. And then you get the ones that are like skinny and fit. And they like, you think, oh, they're old and they're young, you know? <laughs> yeah. I love your, your ramblings on race. I think that's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Back to the board. So I'm going to go fifth. I think I'm going to go with Clancy here. Pitar. 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 Yeah, because Theo, I don't feel like is in close enough shape. I agree with you. Douglas, Fru Douglas, Douglas Fru Fru I don't want to bet on I just want to see who's in it. Who? On what? 212. Oh. Next slide. 212. Okay, let's do this. One second. Uh, that's open. 212. Okay. We're not going to do bets on it now. Not no, no, no. We're not going to do bets. We'll just pick them up. So, Noel, oh. I don't know who half these guys are. I know Noel or Noel. I know, I know. Is this two twelve? Derek Oslin is good. I don't. I don't really know this. 
I think Derek Oslin's going to win. I don't. I don't know what kind of condition he's in. Is he in good shape? He's, he's, got, a great, shape. he's got a great physique. If he's in shape, I really think he can win. Here, let's take a look. This is let's one of the see. most bodybuilding podcasts I think we've ever had. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this is hardcore. This is a full hour bodybuilding right now. This is well, that's serious. okay. That's you know, if you don't like it, you pick, clicked on the wrong podcast. No, I didn't say it was. I didn't. I like it. Uh, five days out from the New York Pro. I don't know, man. So it's, it's a little filtered, which concerns me. <laughs> yeah, don't filter your fucking shit. Okay, no, I mean that's that's what six days ago. So he would have been like two and a half, three weeks out. Two I'm weeks telling out. You, I'm telling you, he's got a good physique. Look here. Oh, I know he's got a beautiful shape. Check, check this sure. out. This is fucking nice. Yes, but are those glutes going to be in in time? That's two weeks. Well, out. Th this is twelve yeah. days. Yeah, twelve days. Yeah. Well, one of the things I have noticed is he's got a great physique, but it always leaves just a little bit left. Yeah. Yeah. So if he can, if he can dry this up, I think he'll win. Yeah, I I will agree. If he comes in in good condition, he's the one to be for sure. He's got good quads. Great quads. He's, he's got super a nice shape. beautiful physique, man. Look at everything flows together so well. Like yeah. nice arms. Yeah, he looks good. Flat, I like his most. I like his most muscular. Yeah, all of it. Like every. Pose. I don't know if this is like racist to say, but he he's kind of Keonish to me. You know. <laughs> Keonish. Look a little smaller, like a not quite as big Keon. Well, it's not racist, but it is a huge compliment. Yeah. Well, like even his yeah. back level, just how it flows and everything, I see very much similarities. You know. Keon yeah, yeah. looks freaky. Keon yeah. yeah, looks crazy right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. I don't know who all these guys are. Are we going to bother going through each one? No, no, sorry. Who, I, who's Yuman Eaton? I know him. He, we were just talking about him. Oh. We were? Oh, yeah, that black guy. That, okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm just going to go Derek Oslin because I don't know the rest. Classic physique. I'm going to go with... Yeah, we don't get to pick? Okay, who are you going to pick? <laughs> go, 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 on, man. Go, go ahead. No, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Nick. Pick somebody. You don't even know these guys. Yeah, I, I know. know. I'm gonna pick Noel though. Okay, let's I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Uh... Uh, Derek as well. Okay, classic. I'm gonna go with. I'm going with Camilo Which... Diaz. What's he look like? Bring him up. He was uh -huh. an open guy. He just moved down. I've competed uh -huh. with him a few times in the open. Let me you gonna type his name, man. Come on, man. Shut up. <laughs> Camilo Diaz. Right here. Oh, he looks good. Yeah. Yeah, he just did decently well at, at uh a show or at, Okay. That's fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is good. We got a video. This conditioning's good. I don't yeah. know how much classic you know is. okay, if, a bit, if a little bit straight up and down. Yeah, if he was, Neil, was open, I think. Yeah. If Neil Carey can nail his peak, I'm picking him. Who? Neil Carey. Neil Curry. Oh, yeah. Actually, I agree with you there. Neil Curry's good. I've like seen him in Pittsburgh. That's actually got, really good. That's probably the, the best pick. I would agree with you there. I don't yeah. know who he is. Why isn't he coming up? Just type in Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Brandon, Steven, Aisha. Um, well, that's fucking weird. I think it's just Neil Curry. Hold on. Maybe block him. No, he didn't block you. <laughs> it's Neil underscore oh, R R E Y. Yeah, R E Y. Is it I E L? There, there it is. There. Why didn't right it there. It's the top word right there. Why yeah. didn't it come up the first time? Because you did. You put Y, not E Y. No, I didn't. Oh, this guy. I've been seeing his pictures come up. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he's got a good physique. He works with me. He, I saw. No, I saw him. He did Pittsburgh. I think he got third. Yeah. You're right. I think he like just missed the peak. So if he, if he can nail it for New That's York, nasty back double though. He's got a crazy shape, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he'll win. That's a crazy proportions. Look at the sweep of a fucking quad from the yeah. back. Thick hamstrings. Brandon, too. Yeah, I, I. That's a good pick. I. I Look agree at these fucking that. front delts. That's my pick to win as well. Jeez. Yeah. That's nice. The conditioning. I don't know if this is like kind of a mean thing to say. But it's not because it's it's also self deprecating. It's always mean coming from you. What are you? No, no, but it's, I'm talking about myself as well. When I see guys with forearm tattoos, I don't like it. Why? I think it's cool. Not to this capacity. Like just having some writing or something. But like when it covers like mine covers like you know dark color. No, I don't like how it looks. I totally disagree. On stage in life, sure, but on stage, I don't like it. 
Uh, okay, well, I like look I, at his front double there, bottom left. I I'm I'm completely opposite. I think it's fucking cool as fuck, and I want to finish my arm. Yeah, but you're not competing anymore. No, no. But even if I was competing, like I was jealous that Dorian Yates had that. Had that yeah. I was like, that's fucking. But smart. Dorian's was much less than that. You think like so? I have that much. That's what mine is. Like you know. All right. Well, now I gotta see. Dorian definitely didn't have. It doesn't have that much. Let's see. Like seeing his front double, you can't even see it. Oh yeah, he's just got this little yeah. flag. <laughs> see, that's fine. But I thought he had more near the end of his career. No. Maybe a bit, but I don't think he covered the inside of his forearm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like when it. Do a, when you would do a front double, I don't think you would see anything. Go to the very top. Was a Maltats. Go to the very top, very top, very top, very top, very top, very top. Wait, there's a later. The one. very top. Yeah. Okay. There's not much. You're right. Very top. Where am I going, Ian? I saw a video. I saw something with a front shot. Go down. What the fuck? You? Oh, I'm crazy. I don't know. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Let's see. What oh, there, front lot. There's a front lot there. Where? Down one more. Middle. Yeah, see, yeah, like you he can just got this out, little you know? thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I personally like it. I think it looks cool. I, mean, I, I think it looks cool, but I don't like. I like the symmetry without having it. You know. I was always jealous of people that had it on their forearm because I have it on the back of my arm, and I can't see it. And I'm like, kind of want to see it. You know what yeah. I mean? Look, I, mean, I, I love tattoos, but I don't know. It's just when it covers as much of the forearm like that, it kind of throws my vision off, and I and it's something I hate about my own physique too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're all our own worst critic. This um, is true. Nick, what do you hate about yourself? <laughs> um, nothing. I do it. <laughs> I'm pretty I satisfied. Said, I said we're all our own worst critic. You can't pick one thing. <sighs> no. You can't pick I'm one fucking thing. One thing. Pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just fucking around? Or are you being serious? No, I'm serious. When you're alone and you're thinking about shit, you don't think. Ah, I think I wish I did that differently. You don't. No. You, or I wish no. I had a bigger penis or something. No, no, you're no. Just, you're totally happy with everything. I'm golden. Okay, good for you, man. Yeah. I wonder how many people actually feel that way. I wish my ears didn't stick out as much. Yeah, we know that about you. And you wish you had hair. Well, I, I mean. You got a nice full head of hair. No, just got I don't a nice look full of front head of hair. Hey, wait, tell me when you start to see it, okay? Because I can't see. So tell me when to stop. All right, go. Now. <laughs> no, no you can't keep going. Keep going. Go. Now. I can see it now. There's a bald spot. I can. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can you see this pointer, Nick? <laughs> yeah, I see it. Okay, but put your head down again. Boom. It's right there. Yeah, it's. Yeah. <laughs> My beard is also getting, like com completely gray here. You're yeah, gonna dye like, it, but it looks like it's blonde. I gotta fucking dye mine. This in person, it doesn't look as good as it looks on this. This <laughs> makes it look a lot lighter than it is. Yeah, are you, are mine looks more it? gray here. Well, yeah, you have a lot more contrast, and you still have more gray than I do. I gotta fucking dye this shit. It's getting out of hand. I like it. No, I liked it. I don't mind a little bit on the sides, but I don't like it when it's in the middle. I don't have any gray yet. Mine's all almost in the middle. I have a bit like sprinkled, and on my hair, I have quite a bit. But on the hair, my hair's so light compared to my beard, you can't see it on my hair. Your hair's growing back, eh, Nick? Yeah, bro. So I'm never cutting it again. <laughs> <laughs> you did that bet like you didn't care at all, and then after you shaved it, you're like, "Fuck!" And it'll take forever to grow back. I know it took forever. Why would you ever go get go to Turkey and get like the full head done again? They won't let me. I would. Why? They said I don't have enough side hair. Really? Yeah, like you have to have a lot on the sides. You went to a place in North America? Uh, I asked two places in North America, and I asked one in Turkey. And you let it grow out for a bit on the sides for them to see? No, but they said they could see enough that it was too, like, it wasn't enough on the sides. I, I don't mean, think I, I don't think I care enough, to be honest with yeah. you. No, I mean you rock the shaved dome better than anybody. So. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, right? Like, yeah. my wife is happy with it. I'm okay with it. Like yeah. it's not really worth no the hassle. Well, I was just asking if you would like. Entity. I would have, if I could do it over again, I would have done it like when I was your age. Yeah, because then I could have like filled it in and yeah, nobody it wouldn't have been a big deal, right? But now I'm like, ah, 
It's like the look, the look is already cemented. Everybody knows I'm bald. What the fuck you would look wrong. weird if you grew hair now, to be honest. That's what I was going to say, right? If I all of a sudden tomorrow, yeah, I'm going to have like a fucking like a... Yeah. <laughs> you want to be like, nah, bro. Cut Just it, like a ball. slick back, you know, like a slick Arab guy slick back, you know? <laughs> Thick black slick back. I never had a slick back. <laughs> slick back. <laughs> My hair was more like Nick's. It was like that would be sick though. If you had just a long black, <laughs> like, it back. Back. Yeah. that looked pretty fucking mean. You gotta admit that. Oh fuck! So what's going on this week with any with you guys? Anything good? Um, yeah, how's prep? Great. Yeah, it's going good. I feel like I'm in a good. I'll like the gears are moving. You know, like I'm in a good. Training's good. What? Training's going good. Yeah, training's good. Everything feels good. Like, it's like my cardio feels easy. Like, you know, when you, sometimes when you start prepping, you know, cardio feels like a lot of like work, even just to like get it going. It's like, oh, yeah. I want to get into it now. Like, it's like, I get the, get the blood going, get a good sweat. Like I'm into the good groove of that. So things are good. Yeah, no. What are you doing for cardio? Bike. I always do the bike. Really? Do you do 25? Hard? I'm doing 30 daily right now. <clears throat> do you do it hard or just like kind of coasting along? No, no. I like, I What's make the resistance easy. level. I go between eight and 10, depending. And then I'll keep it over 85 RPM. Yeah. That's so like, it's like, good cardio. yeah, by like, by 10 minutes in, I'm like, I'm, I'm fully sweat out, you know? Yeah. That's good cardio. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Light it up, baby. I haven't had a cigar in a while. I like that. Should I just smoke a cigarette <laughs> here too, or what? <laughs> Do it. You'll crush all your fans' dreams. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Go to Melissa's Instagram. I got to talk about this for a second. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. What happened? This, you'll see in a second after this conversation we're having. It'll make sense to you in a moment. We can't see the screen, by the way. I know. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? Relax. These are fucking really <laughs> uptight today. Okay, keep going down. Oh. Keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. There, middle picture. Yeah. People online went Ooh, fucking that's bananas. gross. Gross. Why is she smoking? Yes. There was so <laughs> many people like, oh, like, would have been better without the cigarette or, oh, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you're setting a bad example or, like, whatever. It's like, bro, it's a fucking photo shoot. It's just artistic, ren like, you know? It's just honestly, artistic. It honestly fits her persona. It does. It does. It, it, it does. It, it, it's not even that it fits her persona like she should be smoking, but, like, no, it's like that kind of like, you know, like bad. It's kind of got that like badass, like fuck you. That's a badass vibe to it. So it's kind of like fits the photo. Yeah, but I I, the, it, it was it was literally just the photographer's like artistic idea, and Melissa's like, yeah, fucking let's do it, and it's a good photo. But people are like going fucking bananas over it. You know, I think the funniest part about it is is probably three quarters of the people going bananas about it have no problem doing PDs. No, no problem fucking getting drunk or doing smoking weed. You know, yeah, whatever wreck drug. Yeah, but smoking. When awful. you smoke a cigarette. You're all of a sudden fucking ostracized. I know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I also look. See, I see the other point of view that like. I don't think anyone should ever smoke cigarettes. I'm not saying that. Who fucking but, cares? What do you mean nobody should ever smoke? Who gives no, a I'm shit? Not, I'm, not, I'm not supporting it. Like, if you want to smoke cigarettes, fucking give her. But I'm not endorsing it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not saying go out and smoke cigarettes. But I'm yeah. saying like, this is just a, it's a fucking photo shoot photo, you know? I want to read some of Did she delete any of them? Say so like there's one. It would have been, been way cool. better without the cigarettes. And like, yeah, she probably deleted some. But I mean, if you go in there and people get in like arguments on it and stuff, you know. Well, because probably most people are like, "What do you care? It's a photo." Yeah. Should have made it a joint, not a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only reason I could think somebody would be mad. See, th this is a, the thing I think when someone well, one girl got mad because she was an ex smoker. And she said, like, I follow you, and this isn't making it easier for me. That's not fucking Melissa's problem. No, fucking problem. If, you're, if you're an ex-smoker and seeing a cigarette makes it hard, then you have a fucking problem. Yeah, like that's, you're, not, you're not nearly uh, recovered yet, you know? Yeah. No, but what I was going to say is the only reason I could see people being upset is I think people find their favorite personality, whether it's me or you or Melissa or whoever it is, and they, they attribute what they think that person is. Yeah. I also think so then when that so then when that person does something that's not what they have in their mind of who that person is, yeah. It shatters their like 
Yeah. Hopes and exactly. dreams, yeah. baby. So like, like for you, like you've hung around Melissa, you know, that isn't like a weird thing to see. It's like, it's like, it suits her personality. Like you said, you know, but I'm like, not asking, you know, but the thing is, I don't attribute my thoughts to people. I don't know. No, I, that's what I'm saying. Though. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, know, so it's different. Yeah. No, no, I know. But if I didn't and she lit a cigarette, I would be like, oh, she smokes. Sure. But I wouldn't be like devastated. Like, oh, well, oh. Yeah, you a fuck. I mean, but that's what I mean. Like, but I think people sometimes put their own. I also think a lot of people like look at someone that's like in shape and like they have this like world of like, oh, that's not a good depiction of fitness and whatever. But it's like, let's be serious. The fitness bodybuilding world is not like the healthiest place in the world, you know? Well, that's the biggest thing in the world. The biggest, the biggest misconception is if you're bodybuilding or if you're in fitness or bikini or whatever, then you're super healthy. And it's, yeah. And look, Melissa is a very healthy person. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying just to have the correlation. That's like, if you do one, you can't and shouldn't ever do the other. It's just silly. But if we're being honest, but if we're being honest, just on like, not about Melissa specifically, but just about everybody, like whether you're doing PEDs or not getting to low single digit body fat levels to get on stage is not fucking healthy. No. And getting, getting, and then yo-yoing back up in the off season to bulk is also not healthy. And it's and like even, there's even natural bodybuilders do natural water <laughs> manipulation, you know, like yeah. there's still a lot yeah. of things that can, you know, yeah. But yeah, I mean, anyways, I just saw that. And like, there was a few arguments going on there if you keep going through and stuff. And it was, I was just like, oh my God, people, it's a fucking photo. Like you're ridiculous, you know? Yeah. It's, you know what else I noticed about, and I, I hate to go off on a tangent about society, but the one thing I noticed is people have a very, very easy time criticizing and not looking at their own fucking faults. No, people are like on the, like a moral, like justice pedal. Everybody yes. on a fucking, their moral high horse. More high horse, but, yeah. But if you dug into their fucking life at all, yeah, you'd be like, hey man, you're doing just as much dumb shit as we are or whoever yeah, you... And then, uh, they try to make the argument like, yeah, but you're like, you know, you're a social media person, like you should put out a good example. But it's like, yeah, you don't have to follow me. Like you don't, you know, I choose to put out me and my photos that I choose to take. And if you don't like it, well, that's, that's fine. You know? Well, cause uh, that's like, that's like saying, well, you're fake. Yeah. Like you can't accuse me of being fake, and then when I'm real, yeah, you don't, you don't like it. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, you told me you wanted me to be real, so I'm being real. But then I'm being real, and you don't like it because you wanted yeah. me to be fake. Yeah. So it's like, what do you want? Like, yeah, you really you, wanted me to be fake. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. wanted to believe I was perfect. Yeah. And I'm and I'm not. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm well. I'm glad Melissa doesn't fucking pay and attention. This to that isn't kind even of a photo. Like it would be different. Like it wouldn't, but it would in this context. Like, say it was a photo of her hanging out with her friends. And like she had her arm over her friend's shoulder and you can see a cigarette in her hand, you know, but this is literally like a photo shoot where you're doing it for artistic edition, you know? Yeah. But why would that even be different? I mean, look, not well, that's why I said it like is, but it isn't, you know? Yeah. 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 I mean, not that look, like you said, we're not trying to promote smoking, but like, man, we all do so much dumb shit. It's like, who fucking cares? Like, it's ridiculous. I'm sure smoking cigars isn't good either, but like, whatever, yeah. fuck. Fuck it. Little mouth cancer never hurt nobody, you know? Oh. <laughs> Something, something's going to kill me. I might as well enjoy myself. I should, I should take that back because there's probably someone who's watching this has had a family member yeah, like had really gonna... bad mouth cancer. So that's well, what, I wanna, what I want to know, Ian, is... It's all how, comedy, guys. It's all just jokes. How do you deal with this? What? Your wife's half naked. Oh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So I yeah, put up more of it. It's great. <laughs> I'm all for it. I love that you fucking don't give a shit. It's awesome. No, I mean, I, it's like, look, if she's like, if she takes those photos and she feels good about herself and like, look, all I want is for her to feel good about how she looks and feels and everything. Yeah. And if that's like where she feels good and wants to post that up and likes it, then fucking give her. It's all, I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were passing it to me. Why the fuck do you have hostile things on cigars? It's a hostile cigar, man. No, it's not. It is. How'd you get that done? It was made by the Cigar Conservatory in Windsor. And they, you sell them? they, like, the, sick, they like the brand so much, they came and dropped off some cigars with our little. Yo, you gonna, you're going to sell those? I thought about an idea. Maybe. I think you need some kind of different license to sell tobacco products, don't you? <laughs> I think so too. I can't just sell them from the website. You know, what I did think of, you know what I did think of today, though? That's I've really boss, though. I've never seen anyone with a comp sub company have their own fucking cigars. Oh, no, I fucking. Hostiles the shit, bro. We you make that happen. That's pretty <laughs> cool. I, um, I was thinking though, I don't know about you guys and your dogs, but my dogs got fucking allergies to everything. Oh my god! Oh, I, I have Frenchies, I, dude. And I've been actually considering manufacturing uh, 
allergy type supplement formula yeah, yeah. for dogs and coming out with like a whole hostile get, dog we, line. our dogs our frenchies get allergy like shots oh do they month, once a month yeah i'm not at that level yet yeah what's like that? it's not bad but like especially when it's you know like the pee kind of allergy season you'll see they'll definitely be like licking their paws a lot and they'll get more like pink and raw and you know like stuff like that scratching at their ears a lot more like you know yeah i just feel like it's a really good I mean, we're already working on formulas. We can work on this with a vet, get it set up. And then I want to do a bunch of other stuff like, you know, dog collars, fucking yeah. all, leashes, all that shit. I mean, oh, yeah. You're, you're, the name of your brand kind of has a good carryover for that, you know? I figured that, right? I'm like, yeah, it's not a bad idea. And I, I, style, I like it kind of works for like an aggressive, like dog brand, you know? <laughs> yeah. I just want to do it for my dog because I'm like, yeah. I'm sick and tired of fucking trying all these different foods and nothing's yeah. working and i'm like make your own fuck i'm gonna do something myself i think yeah anyway yeah you have that power now uh yeah that's what i figured i'm like we know manufacturers we know that would be really cool yeah so okay anyways i mean i have to say a lot of bodybuilders are dog owners like it's a very big correlation with like well that's know? the other thing i thought it'd be big crossover that way too i'm like with our yeah. network network of people buying supplements I feel like 90% of bodybuilders have fucking dogs. You know? That's right. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So I'm like, hey, it, it could help our business and help my dog at the same time. So yeah. Hell yeah. Um, oh, I'm getting my bike chopped. You doing what? I got to show you this, Ian. Really? Yeah. I don't know if you'll appreciate this too, Nick, but. Have you been, have you been driving it quite a bit? Oh, my God. Every day. I can't get off it. Is it is it been hot up there? What's the weather been like? It's been beautiful out. And I can't. Oh, Nick, has it in Tampa been hot as a motherfucker the last couple of days? Yes. Dude, it was so fucking hot today. It was so gross. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was like 95 and so humid. Like just the yes. air is fucking disgusting. The humidity is the worst. Man. Oh, man. I got in my Golf because I need to go get it. Like now I buy two cars from Candy here. So I need to fix the fucking hood on that Golf that flew up on the highway. Yeah. Um, and sell it. I got into it. I've been sitting in the driveway for like two weeks, man, with black leather seats. I swear it was 150 <laughs> Fahrenheit in that car. I got in it instantly. I was just soaked through my shirt. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I I feel I don't feel sorry for you guys. No, I man. do feel I do feel sorry for you guys now at 300 pounds. Because I remember well, what I was I'm like. I'm on the way down. I'm only 280 right now. So 282. No, but still, man, just like I barely sweat now because I'm off all the gear and I'm fucking. Oh yeah, your sweating goes down so much. Eh? Oh my god, it's incredible. So check this out. So this is my current bike. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, that's not quite. That's not oh, quite that's stock. Not that's probably more stock right there. That's like sure. my current. That's my current bike. Okay. Pipe, yeah, longer. Um, this is what it's going to look like by yeah. next week. That's sick. Actually, that's a better photo. That's dope. So I got the fender chopped. Yeah. Uh, I got shorter pipes. Got the pipes down. Yeah. Um, I got turn signal delete. Not complete yeah. delete. They're like they're like the size of my thumbnail. They're just like little tiny flashes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the only thing I got to get is this. I think it's called a chin fairing or something like that. Uh, and I want to shorten the front fair, the front uh, fender. Yeah, I don't think I think it's called a chin fender. I don't I don't remember what this is called anyway. But I want to get this little piece here, and I want to get a smaller fender. But this, sorry, my my, top, you guys are over top of it. There you go. Okay. So this okay. is like, look at the difference though between like this and this. Oh yeah, I mean it's like going from dad mode to cool boy mode, you know. <laughs> <laughs> dad, mode uh -huh. dad mode to chad mode bro it's not what it's not quite it's not dad quite mode. dad it's not quite dad mode this is still no. fucking bad that's, that's cool that's cool dad mode yeah this is fucking that's biker sick. biker gang dad mode i've always loved the chop fender it's always been my favorite thing on any yeah. motorcycle so that was something i had to do right away so that'll be done by next week nice that um is. okay let's do some questions we got like half an hour <clears throat> question me up does a guy have any blind? Oh, does guy have any blind date stories? Okay, forget it. If does you what? can, if you can make any food have the perfect macros, what would I think we've done that before? Pizza. Um, be small and skinny, but get the best pumps in the gym every single time you go, or be huge and never get a pump. Huge and never be huge. Get yeah. Huge. I mean, the point, the point is not to get a pump. The point is to be fucking no, huge. No, I could care less if I get a fucking pump. I just want to be huge. Do you? Pump's you awesome, but if you're huge. Like, no, I like a pump. Like, I like getting a pump, but it's not like it's not like the, the meaning of a workout for me. I don't gauge my success of a workout by the pump. Not at all. I do? do. I do, I do a little bit. I mean, if I'm training arms, maybe, or chest, but other than that, no. I measure my workouts by probably more than more than two things, but pump and soreness the next day. 
I judge my workouts on my performance. I'm going to be sore as fuck tomorrow. That's a leg. As, as long you know, as I controlled the weight as well or better than the previous workout, and in some metric I improved, then I'm, I'm sufficient. Sure. Yeah, see, I never did that because I didn't improve. I didn't improve my strength every workout. No, but I didn't say improve every workout. Maybe I improved by one rep or yeah, you know, I, I measure that I too. Control my tempo slightly better than the week before. You know. Okay, I'll give you that for sure. Yeah. That's part of it. That's why but I said you, performance metric. I didn't say just by weight. Okay, you know? so performance, but you don't. I use, don't. I don't increase the weight every workout. Absolutely not. Okay, so but you don't use pump at all as part of that measurement. Like if you have a good pump, you don't think like okay, this is a good workout it'll make me feel good like it's like a nice like thing mentally where i'm like yeah but but do i go home after a workout with more pump versus one with a less pump if all the other factors are the same and think one is better than the other no really no nick how about you i i i i measure by all of it but pump is yeah. definitely part of it yeah yeah that's what i'm saying right. it's, hard. it's like obviously if you're going to train like arms and you get no pump like that's fucking kind of weird you no, know? but like, if i go train chest or back like i like to feel like when i'm done my back i'm like i like to feel like i'm like yeah i like to feel like I, mean, like I feel like if i don't have a pump something's wrong that's yes, how i feel that's what i was gonna say i generally always get a pump so it's not like okay yeah like it's like i'm not I'm like <sighs> but wait a minute that's saying it is a measuring tool then because if you don't get a pump then you're like something's okay. not right i would be not, yeah. uh, like, even then though no i don't know depends like if you're in prep and you're like carbs are a little lower but you know usually your sodium well that's different that's expected no, no, that's if you're different. like in the, yeah during the heat of the off season and you had a pump yeah. for like a week straight and it's one day you didn't like if i don't right. if i if i don't get a pump and i know the reason why like if i'm really low on calories i'm dieting i don't get upset i don't care yeah but if i'm like in the middle of the off season i'm eating and i'm not getting a pump something's not right to me yeah yeah you're right so i feel like it there's a it is a measurement of some sort it's I, I definitely I, I agree in that terms that it's a measurement, but it's still like, I would, I still care more, I guess. I weight the other metrics higher than that in my terms of caring. Yeah. yeah. Like as okay. long as like, look, if I go into a workout and I do everything like, because technically if I'm dehydrated or all these things that might affect pump other than food, yeah, you're going to notice that in your performance, like a dehydrated performance is going to be way less than so <clears throat> if, if my performance is in a linear progression then I'm, I'm super not like, it's like, oh, well, the pump didn't matter that much, you know? I just don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't recall training. Yeah. In an optimal like and food environment and, and not, not getting a pump, pump, right? Yeah, I guess you're right in that case. Yeah. And then yeah. what about soreness? Do you measure soreness as a part of your no metric at all? Uh, to an extent, but I mean, like, look, for someone who's that, PEDs, not always, no, someone that's using PEDs and that's been trained for a long time. I mean, like your soreness is, is going to diminish pretty quickly. And, and especially while you're on a cycle, it, it might, it's not going to be linear, you know? Well, I want to say this though. I'm not saying like, you're going to have an equal amount of soreness when you're off as when you're on, but I'm saying like, there are certain body parts. If I don't get sore, I kind of expect it. Like my shoulders would there rarely get sore. Sore shoulders. If my legs don't say, get they rarely sore. get Sorry, what did you say, Nick? The only one. Legs if my legs, if my legs aren't sore the next day, I, something something went wrong. That's, That's how I feel. The only one I agree with. With legs, my legs must be sore. My quads, because they are always sore, so I expect. But you that. don't get, but you don't get like sore chest or back or anything like that. If I get a sore chest, I'm like, ah, that was a pretty good workout, but yes. not not really. No, no, I, I don't. I got a sore chest every fucking time. No, I don't. That's I don't. probably why my chest is twice the size of both of you. That's maybe true. <laughs> But yours is like yours is hamburger meat. Yours is hamburger meat in the corner, you know. Only now, back back then, it was full blown. <laughs> Even like when I've been have trade hamstrings, they never get really sore. You know what's yeah. fucked up about my hamstrings? My glutes would get more sore than my hamstrings. Can I can I ask you this? And somebody listening might have the same issue. So my calves get really sore. That's kind of where I'm going. So listen. So with my hamstrings, right. you know, you know, usually when somebody has a body part where they can connect like really quickly. It's usually the, one of their best body parts, like my chest. Mm -hmm. But my hamstrings, I connect really quickly, but they're fucking shit. Yeah. What? Your yeah. hamstrings are good. No, no, like thickness-wise, like <laughs> from the side. Like they don't have a big drop. They're not like super thick. So I'm like, I wonder why, like, is that, is that just genetics? Or that could be a like, genetic component. I always wondered if they were too tight. Because one of the things Jason Ha used to say is his hamstrings grew more and got the thickness they were because of all the stretching he used to do. You can see there being some carry over there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's like for everybody part to be honest. Yeah, like lengthening and you know, like I mean, I, I see that. If you stretch it, you're gonna put more a lot more blood flow in there. But and if it's gonna equal more growth. If that's true, then why why aren't all bodybuilders doing fucking yoga or 
some type of stretching program. I mean, because probably, nobody, none, look at us. Do we look like we're going to do fucking yoga? Yeah. I mean, to be optimal, we probably should be doing some, for, some form of... We should be doing it, but we're definitely not going to do it. Program, I would say for any athlete that's going through any of these kind of things, they should be, you know? Could you imagine me and Ian going to a fucking yoga class together? We're going to do it. Guys, do it. I mean, Chris does it once in a while. And I mean, look, there's a lot of bodybuilders that can do the splits and shit. I mean, there's some well, flexible. Chris can do it, but let's, in all fairness, come on. Chris is like half of fucking Nick's size. No. And your, and your size. But I mean, like, there's guys like Sergio that do the splits on stage. I, I, there's I, guys I, with good flexibility. I will hurt myself. I, I think Samson can fucking do it too. I'm not sure, but Samson can do it. I will, I will hurt myself. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you told the kid, because we tell, okay, we talk about growth all the time. Okay, if you did steroids, if you do eat this, eat this kind of food, if you train like this, stretching program. I'm just saying, if you told a kid, like, if you told me for sure it was going to work, I might have done it, but I just never really believed it. I think. I don't think I do enough either. I look. I was always told to stretch, but I, I stretch my legs dr like during prep and like, or if I'm ever feeling knee pain or anything, I will always stretch my quads. I'll do my cardio and then I'll stretch for ten to fifteen minutes, like doing my full legs, my hips, my glutes. Yeah, so that, like that, dynamic, that, like dynamic stretching though, like more mobility stuff. No, like static stretching. I'll do static stretching. But you're not supposed to do that before lifting. I don't do it before lifting. I do it after cardio. I said. Oh, like when you're done your training and everything. No, no, fasted cardio. Oh, after oh, cardio. fasted cardio, then stretch. Yeah, cardio, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah. that so my legs are good and warmed up. I might do okay. say thirty minutes of cardio, fifty minutes of stretching. Then I'll train later in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that I did that a lot when I was dieting. Yeah, because I, I, I do it every day when I'm dieting. Yeah, because I, I was going for cardio. Stretch. Yeah. Yeah, you're going for fast and, uh, cardio, so you just do it. Yeah, you do too, Nick. Yeah, I, I always do. I, I always find myself stretching way more in a prep than most. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like it becomes routine at that point. Yeah, like you're, in a, you're in a routine. Cardio. Well, plus it like, kind of feel like, feel like you might be doing cardio at the same amount, but like you'll do it like post workout or like later in the day or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, you usually yeah. on that same kind of routine and prep, you know. It kind of yeah. feels good in the morning for me too. And yeah, you'll get, you'll get up, you'll do your cardio, do your abs, do your stretching. You know? like, <laughs> I do. Uh, it's the only time we just alternate. Kind of like Twelve. Alternate. It'd be you know? cardio and abs or cardio and glutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we did that. I hear most bodybuilders have demons they fight. What's something each fight each of you <laughs> fight daily mentally or physically? Oh, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna get to I can't go into this, man. I need a fucking therapist on site to do this one. Yeah. yeah. Come on, don't be a pussy. Fuck. It'll help people. This is helping people, man. I'm telling you, people message me all the fucking time and they're like, because you talked about depression, or because Ian talked about depression, or because you talk about anxiety. No, I look, man. I, I get them all the time too. I understand. Like you and I are the ones that have talked about that kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I get it. Okay, so what's the what's the demon we battle with the most? Is the question? What's the demon you battle with the most? Is the question. Yeah. Hey, you lead it off. Then this is your show. You have to lead it off. <laughs> well, mine for sure is anxiety, uh, and I and you know what? Because because we've already talked about anxiety, I'll talk about a different one that I actually talked to somebody about today that's, that's having a little bit of trouble, and I was trying to help him out. People and people are very, very hard on themselves without even realizing it. People beat themselves up all the time. I'm stupid. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. I shouldn't have said this to that person. I should have, I did this thing wrong in my life, blah, blah. And people collect these negative thoughts and they repeat them to themselves all the fucking time. And your brain is a muscle, just like the rest of your fucking body. And the more you tell your brain, I'm shit, I'm stupid. I'm a bad person. I'm not successful. The more you tell yourself your brain that, the more your brain fucking believes it. And this isn't fluffy bullshit. This is this is fact. Like, yeah. So what I what I was trying to tell him is this: <clears throat> whatever dumb shit you've done in your past, you are where you are now, and you're a sum of that history. And you need to learn to take something good from all of those things. And every time you do something wrong, you have to tell yourself that happened in my past because it led me to this point where I'm doing something better now. So you have to, basically what I'm trying to say is to, to train your brain. One of the things I've been trying to work on, and I've been working on for five, six, seven years, because I'm horrible beating myself up. Um, one of the things I try to work on is every time I say something bad to myself, I try and finish it with a good thought. So like, uh, let me see if I can give an example. Like sometimes I'll be at the dinner and I find myself talking too much. I'll be like, I'll leave the dinner and I'll be like, Man, I kind of dominated the whole conversation. Why did I talk so much? I put it I so much, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, then it's my anxiety, right? I'm like, but why did I you talk so much? Then you ruminate on it, like, fuck, did I say something weird? Like, should I not said this? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So then sit there all night, fucking thinking of the things you said and how they reacted to it, and yeah. 
that's right. But then I have to stop myself and go, those people are my friends. They wanted me to be there. They wanted me to, to shoot the shit. They know who I am. They wouldn't ask me to come out if they didn't like me. This, and, I have to say, actually, sorry to interrupt, but no, no, go this ahead. podcast has been a big tool for me actually working on that because I still do it time to time. I mean, I did this last, last week and asked you to take something off. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, and I, but I do it way less frequently that I think and sit on them. Yeah. But like things that I'll say on this, that then I'll go, you know, or have a conversation, even if I just didn't think it was like a great flowing feel to it, you know? Yeah. And then the podcast, everyone will love it. You know, it'll be like the best episode, Happens but I'll go week. home or I'll get off and I'm like, fuck, and Melissa will be sitting there like, shit, did I say something weird? Was I talking too much? Did I interrupt too much? Like, you know, I sit and do these things and then I'm like, fuck, you know, fuck, I, don't, I wish I didn't do that, you know? Yeah. yeah but yeah. doing this more often and then obviously, you know, seeing that people don't necessarily perceive it the same way as you. Yeah. Um, you know, and that it's your friends, you're just having a conversation with your friends and they're obviously not like judging you for it in that same manner. And once right. you start to like, well, let that go, then you just realize that nobody's thinking about other than you, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'll try and relate it to work. Uh, so like, let's say like a couple weeks ago, I didn't, I only did one podcast, one podcast that week. Cause I kind of fucked off and I want to ride my bike and do whatever. I kind of beat myself up about it. And I had to stop and go, yeah, that's probably yeah. not a good idea, but you needed a break. You've been doing this consistently for two years. It's okay to take a break here and there. Just move on. So like, all I'm trying to say is you have to find a way to take those negative thoughts and turn them around for yourself. Because if you are just constantly beating the shit out of your brain all the time, it's just going to lead you down a bad road. You're never going to feel good about yourself. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Exactly. So you need to take a minute. I know it sounds fluffy as shit, but you actually just need to finish your bad thoughts with a good thought so that your brain is conditioned to erase those thoughts and move forward instead of well dwelling on them and sitting, letting them sit in your brain. Yeah. So that's probably other than my anxiety, because I've kind of slightly sort of started to overcome anxiety in my later thirties. This is probably something more in the forefront that I do all the time that I need to get control of. So this is probably one of the things I do the worst. That's the worst. Cool. That's good. Well, you're up now. No, I think, I mean, we're going to be talking a little bit forever. Move on to the question. No, <laughs> fuck you. It's your turn. No, I mean, but I'm, I mean, this, I, I talked about the same thing in you there. I mean, like, look, I'm in very similar position. Obviously, like, you know, like the anxiety depressive side is, is obviously something I still struggle with a lot. Like, I've got better, but I still have moments, like, you know, like anyone like that. Um, you know, but it's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the biggest struggle for sure. Uh, I did a podcast with Blessing today. And I got him to open up. Well, actually, the people watching this, it'll be, they'll probably see it before this video. But uh, I got him to open up like pretty good, man. He was, he told me a lot about his past. He told me about being depressed after like the show last year in New York. Yeah. And uh, it was a fucking, it was actually a pretty emotional podcast. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was really good. And you know what, Ian? I think you especially, like, it's a different side of blessing I'd never seen before. Yeah. And I even told him that. Yeah. I, I even told him, I even, I even told him on a podcast. I said, you know what, man? I said, people need to hear this more from you because people only think of you yeah. as the, the jokey, silly. Yeah. the jokey, silly fucking YouTube guy. And this is, this is the person they need to see also. Look, even when I got to know blessing and to train with him, like you, I saw the other side of it and the yeah. dude just, he just but got I, a hard hold, man. But like, I was shocked. I was totally shocked. I was like, when I was, I literally said to him, I'm like, I didn't even know you had this side of you. Yeah, and it was so. It was like nice to see there's like a real, genuine person in there that's thinking and feeling just like us. Mm -hmm. Except for you, Nick. You don't have any demons. Do you have any demons? Look, I, I don't know if I have. Or I have. Don't like to talk about them. Well, yeah. I mean, I've told a lot of you know my past, but I don't know if those re resorted to depression or anxiety per se. I have gone through phases in my life. But I don't know if they resorted to anything in particular. I know I still battle with certain things. Yeah. Like this may not be a demon, but like communication. I, I'm the worst with communicating with people. In what way? Can you explain? I think when, what happened to me when I was younger, when I was molested, I, like I didn't open up. So I never told anyone. Yeah. And I think when it comes to certain situations now, like talking about my feelings on certain things, Just hold whether it be with my mother or my, girl, or my or girlfriend or whatever the case may be, I, I don't open up properly. So like, they don't know if I feel a certain way about something, I don't say anything. Mm -hmm. So I just think from that resorted to a lot of things, you know, in, in my present now. I know that about you. 
I never know what you're thinking. <laughs> today, today, Nick said to me, I got a business meeting tomorrow. I said, are you leaving hostile? <laughs> he said, no, I'm not, I'm never leaving hostile. I'm like, okay, good. I just never know. I'm like, I never know where yeah, it's no, fucking we're, we're good, man. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of weird if he said that to you. Like, I have a business meeting and the business meeting is about leaving you. you know? <laughs> yeah. I was joking. I, 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 I debated on fucking with him. And I'm like, like, well, yeah, like, if this deal works out, I might. That, yeah. that would be like me texting my that, wife. Nick. That would be like me texting my wife in the middle of a happy marriage and be like, Hey, sorry, yeah, I just have a meeting at the lawyer station. She'd be like, for what? I'm like, oh, I'm filing for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, it's better than fucking not finding out and then finding out on right. fucking Instagram. Shit, I mean, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, so should we talk about your shit fest you got into yesterday? Who? Am I? Yeah. Oh. If you want, I don't give a fuck. All right, let's leave that it was, let's leave That it was some horse shit. Let's leave, let's leave but, it alone. We'll just say that... 405 is 405 because <laughs> if I say it's because it's 405, 405. Fucking 405. <laughs> I mean, hey, in my defense, I put up a video and I wrote four plates per side. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> what is the actual difference? Is it like 30 pounds instead of 45? It might be 20. Oh, you know, I'll tell you guys this. Can I tell you this? I have the Icarian and Smith machine and I don't have the uh, counterbalance on it. It's like fucking 75 pounds, man. Man, Smith machines are so much better when you take the fucking counterbalances off. Well, so I, fucking also, heavy, Ian. It's I crazy. also read that. Yeah, but they feel uh, so much nicer. I love them. Well, it's, the- it's freer. Yeah, it's like it's freer. Yeah. It feels like real weight, you know? Yeah. Go ahead, I also Ian. read that the Cybex Smith machines are still 45 pounds. But, yeah. Well, I mean, if I'm they're sure not. The ones are heavy, but- if they're not actually the one at the gym I used to train at, it's not counterbalanced either. It is 45 pounds. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying about the, the Icarian I have. It's fucking heavier than like, like it may, may well be. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I don't know I'm, unless I just like because I'm off right now. It feels way heavier, but it's it's, it's actually fifty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, the training's so different now. But I bet. Yeah. Um. Okay. It's natural as fuck. You're gonna get fast as shit, boy. I ran three miles today. I know, dude. Not all what, at once. Were you like? What do you mean not at once? Well, like run jog run jog so let me tell you what happened so yesterday i decided to start eating like a proper bodybuilding diet again Why? i was i was eating like three meals right so yesterday <laughs> five why just because i thought it would be healthier to eat the normal way right the bodybuilding way four i think four is a good healthy person but bodybuilding. just proper. listen so i wake up today and okay. i didn't eat anything bad it was just rice and chicken beef i wake up today four fucking pounds heavier like my body just soaked it up yeah and it's pretty much probably all glycogen because I get on the fucking treadmill to run today, and I ran I ran further like I ran twenty minutes straight without Did stopping. Way worse, wasn't to sweat. After my twenty minutes of running, I hit a wall and my oh. quads my quads were pumped. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. fucking run anymore. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. So I had to split it up. So I ran two miles earlier today, and then I ran another mile after my shoulder workout. But on treadmill. Yeah, I'm too scared to do outside yet. No, I was gonna say that's good. Stay on the treadmill for now, for sure. I'm trying to get the treadmill. Once I get up to like five to ten miles on the treadmill, there's no need, need for you to be running on the road yet. Do that. I'm still trying to get my fucking joints and shit yeah. used to it. That's like why. That's why I'm saying to stay on the treadmill. It's a lot my, easier on your joints. Stuff. My shin splints are just yeah. No, nasty. stay on the treadmill until you're acclimated to like at least running like five miles without like pain. You know. I'm gonna have to drop another ten pounds at least. It's get. It's like I'm too heavy. Yes. Yeah. Too too heavy still, but so we'll see. And I'm starting. Uh, BJJ next week. Oh, nice. So that'll be fun. You're gonna kick some ass. So if Ian tries to make me a little spoon, I'll just fold them into a pretzel. <laughs> Maybe I'll like it. Yeah. It won't make you gay. <laughs> if you ain't gay. That picture, man, fucking I hate you so much for posting that. <laughs> who, who made that? There's a guy that's been making memes of all of us, not just us. Like, you know, I do that telegram thing with Evan. And the guys. Yeah, so Jose sent it to me. Yeah. So this guy, let me see if I can find him real quick. Well, I saw an Instagram profile that had a bunch of them, but he had posted it after I posted it. So I was like, well, it couldn't be this guy. He must just be reposting it. No, one second. Uh, what is it? It's only gay if you're gay or why are you gay? Why are you gay? Why are you gay? Yeah. Why? <laughs> but he posted that video two hours ago. So look at these. These are actually pretty funny. But I funny. saw it. This yeah, I know. He's got a bunch of them. This one had me fucking dying. Is that the you and me again? No, no, this one. So this is Evan. Oh, yeah. 
we were talking about resto mods versus restoration. So this is an inside joke, but this one fucking had me dying. That's funny. This is uh oh, oh that's just the Marvel intro. No, no, Keep it's going. the Avengers. No, wait. Uh, entry, yeah. Look, I don't know who that is. That's me. I think that's, that's you, me. Ian, or Lee. I don't that's Evan. I don't know who that I don't know. That's, that's James. James. Keep going. There's another funny one of you and me. That's the same thing. This is me. Like when she says no to sex. Oh no, that's Evan. Sorry. That's Evan. That's me. That's you. <laughs> See, there's Who you with a slick back, bro. Who had waiting for guy? <laughs> this is me. me. Oh no, we gotta hear it. Wait, this one's funny. I am not gay. I have relationships with women. Sex with men. And I got news for you. <laughs> that means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> The music makes it I so much better. Gay. What is this? This is from an episode or something with Ice T. What is this show? Six it's like uh, NYPD fucking blue or whatever. The fuck I saw this. I, I commented. I laughed there. <laughs> <laughs> this is too real. This one. It's such an asshole. <laughs> Here, uh. <laughs> fucking dick. There's another one. Where is it? No, wait. I think that was it. That I thought, awesome. Oh, there was one in his stories. I think I saw. Wait, why can't I hear it? Oh wait, guys, turn the sound off. It's the same one. Six. Me. I know, I know. Wait, there's another one. This one. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Ian arguing that gay <laughs> sex is <isn't> gay. <laughs> Sweating. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he's good. I saw that. Have you seen that YouTube video that his title, his name's, his page is titled after? No. What Go you to YouTube about? and type in "Why are you gay?" Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> Is it, same, it? is it the same guy? Wait, I'm going right now. No, it's it's a it's with the guy who's actually in his picture, the real like African guy. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you see the video? Yeah, now we do. Yeah. <laughs> this? Yeah, this. You've you've never seen this? No. We oh bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists. Mr. <laughs> this is amazing. Am I allowed to play Mr. this? Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Morning to you. Why are you gay? This is not gay. You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, 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 lesbian, homosexual. <laughs> How can I describe you? Now we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend. Uh, Yes. Well, Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. Oh, so no, what are you doing with this lady? By choice. By choice. Yeah. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you mean doesn't that make me gay? I am, I am male and attracted to a female. So who is gay? <laughs> I'm gay. So who is gay? So who is gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> First That's question. Awesome, you guys. wasted not one second. I know. <laughs> he introduces him. So why are you gay? Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Uh okay. We'll do a couple more and we'll go. That was funny. <clears throat> um can you guys dive into supplements more? Time of use, when to use. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm going to start doing that on the hostile channel. So we'll take care of that one separate. Um, one current bodybuilder who could potentially challenge Ronnie in his prime or take his place as the goat eventually. No, no one. Right. Is there anybody that even comes close? No. Like right now? Mm -hmm. Nobody? I mean, who even in history comes close? Phil? Like, I mean. Well, some people think Phil was better, but. I think those are Phil fans and not objective. Yeah, I mean, fans. look, Phil, prime time Phil is fucking crazy, but 
there's still a you're talking like a 50 pound weight disparity with equal conditioning you know so that's the thing i think i think people look at photos that are put side by side they don't realize that in person that shit no, looks way I mean, different phil, phil, is, phil is fucking bursting at the seams full crazy conditioning roundness like nobody other but he is narrow in the clavicles you know he's not a 270 280 pound guy yeah. Ronnie was stepping on stage, peeled out of his mind at 285, 290, you know? And Ronnie wasn't 285, 290 because he needed to be that way to look like Phil. No, he I looked mean, he like Phil, but Ronnie's he was not six feet tall. He's like yeah. the same height as Phil, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, Ronnie's only 5'9, five, 5'10, five, same as Phil. Five, Phil's 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, what is a quote you heard that you still live by today, Nick? Uh, Discipline above. <laughs> of all of all else that's what i go by oh there was one i was it was like if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you that's a good one yeah that's a good one um sacrifice without regret that's what I I that that's, the, that's, that's your slogan no, you, don't. you don't have my fucking slogan on your body do you what does that say it says no glory without sacrifice i've had it for like 10 years that's not the same thing. Same thing. No, people get same mistaken. Thing. That's not. That's not what I mean. That's not. Same what I mean. sacrifice without regret. Same thing. No, that's not what it means. This is the fucking confusing part for people. It doesn't. I know mean, it's very different. It doesn't mean that I sacrifice a lot. It means, or that you have to sacrifice to win. It means you, you have just to sacri make the sacrifice and you don't regret them. You have to sacrifice even when it doesn't work for you. Yeah, that's the thing. Because I had the reason it came about. It was like twenty years ago. I had a friend who I used to look up to that was bodybuilding. And one day he just stopped bodybuilding. He's like, fuck that shit. I'm never doing it. I'm like, why aren't you doing that? Like, why aren't you bodybuilding anymore? You have a good physique. Can I, he's like, can I he's guess like, who that is? You'll never guess. But anyway, listen, he, he says to me, you know how much money I wasted and how much time I wasted and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, so you regret all that. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, nah, man, that's not the way it should be. Like, yeah. if you're going to do something, do it. And don't fucking regret your choices afterwards. I think like it's this. an unfortunate thing that a lot of people in life live a very heavily regretful life, you know? Yeah. I don't see fucking, I don't see why. What's the guy's name uh, that broke his arm like me too? Mm, Lou Joseph. Yeah. It wasn't Lou. No, that's just who it made me think of when you said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, well, I mean, because Lou was bodybuilding a lot more back then. But no, it wasn't Lou. But I just... Uh, it just bothered me. I'm like, you know what, man? Why, why would you regret your time? Like everything you do in life teaches you something. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I never won a fucking Arnold. I never won a fucking Olympia, but I'm like, I don't regret it. What, what'd you say? No, you haven't. <laughs> I said Nick won an Arnold. Nick won an Arnold. That's right. <laughs> but I'm just saying like, I don't regret one day in bodybuilding. So like, you know. Yeah. Did Lou okay. Joseph compete in the 212? Yeah, I actually coached him for that show in Toronto. I can't remember where he placed. It was, I think he was top three that show. I don't remember. Yeah, nice little physique, though. Nice little physique. Are you crazy? Can I tell you something? What? Lou at 18 years old. Lou could have been like... Okay, I know you guys are going to fucking... Sorry, when I'm saying nice little physique, I'm using it like in a... Okay, but hear me out for a second. Not in a real And way. I, know, I know people are, are maybe freak out when I say this. But Lou, had he given himself 100% to bodybuilding, could have been a Sean Ray Lee Priest type physique. Yeah, I mean, he had I'm telling you, at, of, I'm telling you, at fucking 18 years old, he already looked like some of the pictures of when he was, yeah. you know, 25, 26. So who was the craziest junior? Huh. Jordan Janvier. Yeah, he, had, he was good too. He was fucking crazy when he won junior nationals. So I want to show you guys something. So this is Lou Joseph, for yeah. those people who don't know. He's a Canadian pro. What a, this, what a chrome dome that is, eh? Yeah, he's Chrome a, dome. Like, this is... Oh, look okay. at that. There's a picture with you. So wait a second. When you see this, I just yeah. want to tell you guys something. So this was, you know, he's a pro here already. I think he must have been, like, over 25 here. Know what his physique looks exactly like here? Fakri Mubarak. Just listen for yeah. a second. Yeah. This is what he fucking looked like at, like, 18 when I met him. Yeah. You, you look like, huge in that photo, though. Here? With the Greg, yes. Kovacs, Greg Kovacs? 
With bro, the sunglasses look at your on hair, the neck. Bro. Sunglasses on the neck. And the fucking affliction shirt. Look at this guy. It's deep D. The, the affliction deep shirt. Deep. <laughs> the deep. definition of douche. I would fuck you, man. I look so great. Kovacs, <laughs> look at Ko- Kovacs' arm just biceps torn off, tricep torn oh, off. You know, poor, like poor guy. You know what though? I feel bad for Kovacs. Rest in peace. He fucking yeah. got used. Yeah. Listen, I'll tell you, he fucking built muscle tech. They rode his fucking really, eh? Well, I'm telling you, for the first before they signed all the athletes, when they were still just small muscle tech, they Katie fucking muscle tech, yeah. they signed him and they used him as the freak and they put him in all the ads and he was benching like stupid weight, like, and he was the giant that it, they used to like propel themselves. And then when they started signing bigger guys, they're like, okay, see you later, like whatever. We got Jay Cutler now and fucking Dexter yeah. Branch, you know, and everybody else. But they used him to fucking really grow the brand, and then they just kind of okay. Your time's Were over you, now. You remember uh, Mike Platt? Mike Platt. Yeah. Why is that? I do. Why does that sound familiar? Not Tom Platt. Mike Platt. No, no, I know. Yeah. Why does it sound familiar? Well, he's Canadian. He won Canadian. He was a Canadian national guy, and then when he turned pro, he never competed again. Mike Platt. He was like all in the muscle ads and like you know muscle tech cover boy and like you know this guy. Yeah, yeah I do remember this guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is like some of the guys they started with. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. And he was like, everybody. Yeah, he was him. on every magazine back then. He was like the Chris Bumstead of that time. He was that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he I mean, was that guy. Second from the left. What, here? Yeah, th- th- no, over one. Left. Oh, second. No, sorry. Oh, second second right. row down on the far left. Second row down on the far left. Yeah, that. Like, that's a fucking, that's a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, he won Canadian Nationals. Can't remember what year that would have been, but. Well, I saw the one picture of him in Scotland. There's a muscle tech ad with him right there, middle fifth row down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they use a lot of these guys. I mean, look like. Scott Milne, yeah. RIP to Scott Milne, too. Yeah. Scott Milne, who's like six fucking six. Yeah, six. He was fuck- he's like, a f- he's famous for that meme where he's walking the little tiny dog. Yeah. I mean, but that's a good physique <laughs> for a guy who's six, six, man. Yeah. <clears throat> here there's some shot look at that this guy <laughs> this is a guy i'm telling you who's like six six fucking 300 and oh my god in uh, person he was fucking huge back yeah. then that's guest posing obviously but yeah i mean all these guys and they had like uh remember it was a jeremy freeman i don't remember jeremy freeman the barn door back oops not that guy that don't look right <laughs> This guy. You remember this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Face is familiar for sure. Yeah. Look, they always had these monsters, like just like tall, big fucking dudes. Did you ever compete with uh, what's the guy that's with HD and trains out of there now with the tattoos? Uh, Mike Astadu? No, who? Uh, no. The big white guy with tattoos. Oh, Mike Van Wick. Mike Van Wick. Uh, no, I never. Did I work out with him or compete against him? Yeah. I don't think we ever competed together. I think he turned pro after me, and then he only did. I think he only did a couple shows. Yeah, another fucking massive guy, like huge dude. Yeah, yeah. He is. He was pretty big. This is that's definitely that's big, yeah. Well, that's fake. Anyway, yeah, they had all the fucking big, giant fucking dudes, and then they transformed into like all the superstars. Yeah, but they rode those guys for a while and fucking helped grow their business. Anyway, um. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll go. Make it good. Mm. Every time. Does your significant other pop your back pimples and how much do they enjoy it? M- Melissa will if I have any. I don't, I'm not really a pimply guy, but if I do get them, she is all over it, yeah. I'm the- I can't date a girl that doesn't enjoy that. Yes. So you'd be harder pressed to find a girl that will not force you to pop them than one that. W- Why is it that want. women like that shit so much? I need to be like, babe, get, get that shit. And be like, I yes. Well, like, I, I know people that watch that, like, Dr. Pimple Popper and shit, you know? I do. I wonder do you actually? I, I find it very entertaining. Yes. Oh, I literally see it. I'm like, no. Fuck, fuck Why that shit. Watch that. It's fucking. It's nasty, but it really. No, don't pull this shit up, man. I don't want to see this. It really lets uh, you know pass his time. You're gonna get fucking demonetized. This shit's gross. Wait a minute. What is <laughs> no. I don't even know what you're talking about. It's literally. Uh, go to. It's an Instagram. Go to the Instagram. Even. Oh. 
Yeah, you got you, you no, you can even go on the TikTok, man. The TikTok's phenomenal. <laughs> TikTok? Not, not TikTok. TikTok. Well, that's not it. Oh, I can't watch that show. That's a cat, man. What the fuck? No, that's that's not pimple popping. Is it killing it? Yes, it is. Oh, I oh. hate I hate this shit, man. Fuck is this, Nick? Oh yeah, my look, god! Look at that. Oh, it's so <laughs> fucking good, dude. Watch this. Uh, cabbage, that must be an earring because that's like an earring backing it. Oh my god! Okay, what the initially fuck? this was confusing. I thought, what is that purple? Okay, I'll have to say this is initially. Oh, that's oh, fucking oh, gross. That is not a blackhead. Oh my gosh! What the fuck is? Oh, they got a toy weird. up there. I guess he has a. Like oh. this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Do you know who this is? I don't know. He fucked up. Yeah, but she ain't popping out like that. Uncle Popper no. joined me to react to this. Unfortunately, my sound didn't work. Rookie move. Oh, I don't like this shit, man. Come on, you'll be, you'll okay. live, you. It's weird because I can watch like the goriest movies and I'm all for it, but this shit is so okay, fucked to me. A... What is this? Oh, that's a cyst. There was a, oh. I have to show you something. My little friend here. Get it. This is. Ian, why are you like she, watching this shit? My little kitty. Oh, watch, watch it. Is it going to get it? Is it going to get it? This is a cyst. Oh, oh no. I can't oh, watch oh, anymore. Okay, watch oh. Fuck. Fuck you guys. Oh. You watch that. <laughs> Fuck, that's that is cool. awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, or Nick, why do you watch that shit? It's just entertaining, man. Yeah, I, like, my, client, oh. my, my client, Justin, the guy that like dances and sings and shit, posts this shit on his Instagram story. Why? He like repost Dr. Pimple Pop and be like, oh yeah, I'm like, yo, that's fucked up, man. Don't post that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Nick, what, Nick, what is the fascination? I don't know. It's, it's just dude, like that page has millions of followers. It's clearly a fa huge fascination. I know. I'm trying to figure out what it like. What's the fetish? Well, I, I watch it. My my brother's into it. Like it's, it's like ASMR. It's just like the, the popping of it. People like like it. You know? Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's like how how fucking how big is this motherfucker? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it for my wife and see if she likes it. <sighs> yeah. Like, see, she gets into it. I just think of the pain, like how much those fuckers hurt to pop, you know? Yeah, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes when they're ready to pop. They feel you, good. You oh, man, no. Them. You've had some big pimples. That shit hurts like a motherfucker. It hurts know? more when they're not ready to pop and you're trying well, to if they're going, If they're going well, to that person, they're probably getting like a local anesthetic or something. But I mean, well, like, to do that shit at home fucking hurts, man. Yeah. Cool, right. yeah. Cool, right. Next time you got to, you know, take a number two. Go on your TikTok and just kind of watch. Wanna... Gu guaranteed you get, you'll, you'll start watching it more and more. Okay, I'm I gonna try. I gotta, actually, I got a good story about this. What? So, 2019, before the Toronto Pro. Uh, okay, I'm going to preface this 1,000%. It wasn't from a shot. I didn't do shots of my glutes at the time. I still don't. I don't really like it. I got an actual, like, abs, cyst. Uh, like cyst or, like, a big pimple or something on my right in the middle of my ass cheek. Like, yeah. Not even where you would do a shot in the upper left. It was, like, dead center, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like two weeks out, man, and it was getting bigger and bigger, and I was fucking freaking out, like yeah. freaking the fuck out. I'm like, I can't go on stage like this. This is, I'm going to be, it's going to be all over Instagram, people saying I have a bad shot. I'm going to be like that guy, on Dr. Pimple yeah. Popper, you know? Yeah. Like, this is going to be all over Your the place. Your trunks didn't cover it? Well, they could, but it, then it looked like I was like wearing granny panties, you know? Like I really had them like pulled out, which Spread I still kind of had to for the show. Yeah. Um, and... So I have a buddy that I used to run track with. One of my buddies I used to run track with is now an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. So I texted him and I'm like, hey man, I'm like, I'm in a pinch here. Like I'm leaving. It was like Saturday and I was leaving for the show on like Monday or Tuesday to drive to Toronto. I'm like, hey man, I know this is fucking short notice. I don't know if you know anyone in plastics or like something that can take care of this like today, you know? Yeah. yeah like yeah. I need this shit gone to the best of your abilities today. Yeah. So he's like, let me make some calls or whatever. So he got a girl that's a resident in plastics and he told me to, it was sad. Like, so it was Sunday, actually it was Sunday. And he said, it was like noon. He's like Sunday. He's like 3 PM go to emerge at the Ottawa general. He's like, just walk up yeah. the desk, tell him who you're here for and say her name. It was a female. Yeah. Uh, and she was just waiting right there for me. Yeah. She brought me in the back. She numbed my ass and fucking cut that bitch open. And yeah. Did you get to see any of it? No. Cause I was lying on my stomach. It was in my butt. 
So Did she, she show you like it, after like, like yeah, it looked like legit. This is fucking disgusting to say. It looked legit like like toothpaste. Oh, like thick, God. hard, thick white stuff. How the, look at <laughs> she didn't get all of it. <laughs> she didn't get all of it. So what she did is she just did a very small lance, and then she took a, like a twelve gauge needle yeah. and like poked a bunch of holes in it, and oh. then just kind of like you know. And oh, she said geez. she's like I got enough out to flatten it down yeah. so that it looked flush, but when you felt it, there was still mass in there. Oh. So she's like, I could lance this right open. She's like, but then I'm going to have to give you stitches. And she's like, I think stitches on your ass might look worse in a week than yeah. just yeah, having yeah. like a little bit of inflammation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fuck, man. Did, was, anybody, did anybody notice? Uh, no, but then it came back for the Olympia that year. Uh, so sorry, this would have been 2018 then. Yeah. Um, it came back for the Olympia and it was noticeable at the Olympia a little bit. Yeah. Did people notice or only you notice? Yeah, Boston Lloyd did a post on it. Oh, <laughs> But I commented on just like, yo, I swear on my life, this wasn't a fucking shot. Like, look where it is, you know? Did she ever but, tell you what it was? Like, how you got it? Like, it was just what's called a sebaceous cyst. It's just like a, a like a clogged follicle or a hair folds over and clogs it up yeah. and, and sebum or whatever that shit is builds up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just like a fuck. I, I didn't even have a picture of it, but yeah. That's actually, just, that's actually why I stopped using Nair and I stopped shaving. I started trimming. Yeah. Because when I used to I shave, did. when I used to shave all the time, or yeah, or yeah. nair all the time i would get ingrown hairs all the well, especially time. if you're training and sweating often and you're sweating yeah. with like hairs that are you know shaved in and then you're getting shit building up in there and then the hair yeah. will grow a bit trap it all in there you know yeah 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 that's yeah i mean that was man having a buddy in fucking plastics uh, like a buddy that was in uh the medical field was came in so clutch that day you know i like that nick was excited to hear about the toothpaste what's yeah. wrong with you what's did you like get this on tape <laughs> no, I could not though. But man, the pressure you can feel for someone jabbing a fucking like 10 gauge needle in your ass is What's fucking that? weird, man. What's she numbed it first. Doing? She numbed it first and then she was jabbing this thing that's like the size of your fucking pinky, like oh. you know? And it felt so fucking weird. And at first she was trying to draw some out and nothing was really coming. So then she just poked multiples and kind of just fucking just you know, oh. worked it. But you, it was then, numb, so it probably only felt like pressure to you. Didn't no, feel like it didn't feel any pain, zero pain, just yeah, yeah, yeah. immense amounts of pressure, and it was like so weird feeling, you know? Yeah, when I had gyno surgery, they numbed the area. Yeah, and it's funny because above me, you know, they put the light above you. Yeah, the light was aluminum, like the the, the housing of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I could see the reflection of what they were doing. Oh, yeah. So they numb the area, and then they start cutting it open, and I can feel the pressure, but I can't yeah. feel any pain, and I'm watching them do it. I'm like. That's when I got my up. arm done, like the big, you know, yeah. they offered, they're like, we can put a nerve block in you and you can stay awake for this if you like. I'm like, fuck no. Yeah. I would yeah. stay awake for that. No, man. I'm happy I didn't because the surgery ended up, they said it was going to be a two and a half hour surgery. It ended up being like six hours. Yeah. That's a little different. Because like how much meat I had, like you have to cut in kind of small layers through it so you don't hit like the nerves. Yeah. And they just said like just working through layer by layer just took them fucking forever to get in there, you know? So I'm fascinated by that kind of shit. Like when they did my gyno surgery, I was like, like I would like to fucking... watch someone else do it. I would yeah. like that wouldn't gross me out to be in a surgical room, watch you get your arm cut open. I'm great with but that. But that's the thing. I'm not interested in watching that kind of stuff on TV. But like when I go for PRP shots, yeah. you know how like when you go for a PRP shot, they show you on the ultrasound, like the needle yes, going that's in different. your I don't mind needles. Needles don't bother yeah. me at all. But, but I like, like to... watching them. I like to watch watching them go it. in my own arm and then I'm like, yo, am I going to think about this and then start feeling it? I don't want to have no part of that, you know? <laughs> the six hours is a little bit much. I want to be... Yeah, right. it was like five or six hours, man. I don't want to be awake that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I probably would have fallen asleep anyway, so fuck, I mean, I probably should have, you know? Yeah. All right. Nick, are you going to do a video of his ass? Sister? I wish there was, man. I'd like to see it. I have a picture, I think, but I don't have a video. <laughs> like, you got a video? That's that's something you video. Does it, can I ask you, does it turn you on, or are you just interested in it? <laughs> oh, no. Like, I'm is it a sexual it. fetish, or just a... No, bro. You fucking weirdo. Well, I don't know. You're the fucking weirdo. I'm not the fucking weirdo. You like watching people... I just like to watch it. I'm not getting a fucking boner. <laughs> 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 All right, fuck it. Let's Ian, find it for next week. Let's go. Wait, wait. This how is how we're going to close this video out. What a how do you go? Ass. How do you find it? Like it's probably years ago. Do you well, I know it was right around the 2018 Olympia. I have a picture from it around the Olympia, not the one that I got drained. Because the one after the Olympia, then it just ended up going away on its own. I enjoyed having a cigar during the podcast. I think I might do that more often. You should. My office looks like a smoke bomb went in off in it though but whatever <laughs> it'll fucking air out by itself somehow all right i don't know if i'm finding it
You're not going to find it. Let's not make send it, it in the group chat. There's send way too many pictures in here, man. I underestimate how many pictures I've saved on my phone. I was going to say, because when I go back on my phone trying to look for stuff, it takes me forever to find it. Yep. Oh, wait, 2018. You probably have rolls and rolls of fucking progress oh, no. photos. Oh. In there. Uh, okay, yeah, you can't really see it in this photo, though. You Let's can see, see where the site is or like where it was. See in the middle there, yeah, the yeah, red yeah, dot. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where it was. And that's that is after it was drained. That one. I see your bare ass. I swear to God, I see Ian's bare ass more than fucking anyone. <laughs> Somebody sent me a picture. <laughs> Anytime I post a picture of a progress photo or something showing my ass, I get fucking thirty Fuad tags in there. <laughs> no. you know? Like I bet Fuad likes this. Like oh. somebody, yeah. somebody sent me a pair of jeans with the ass cut out. <laughs> yeah. Like these are for Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, let's go. I'll, right. uh, I'll yeah, see, you see you next week. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, boys. boys. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>